fully committed to being the hub of the nonprofit sector of the Bitcoin economy, maximizing the potential cross promotion of all our clients and commercial partners. To learn more, visit bitcoinnotbombs.com. Breitbart reports one Wyoming farmer is refusing to be intimidated by the Environmental Protection Agency into demolishing a stock pond he and his wife built in 2012 on his eight acre Wyoming farm. Andy Johnson and his wife Katie used pure water to fill the pond and filled it with brook and brown trout, ducks, and geese. The Johnsons' three children were looking forward to playing there, and the Johnsons' horses could use the pond to drink and the surrounding area to graze. But the EPA threatened Johnson on January 30th of this year with a fine that could amount to $75,000 a day because the agency claimed that he violated the Clean Water Act by building the pond without a permit from the Army Corps of Engineers. It asserted that he built a dam on a creek illegally and that the residue from Johnson's Pond could flow into other waterways. The agency gave him 30 days to hire a consultant to assess the environmental impact of the pond and come up with a restoration proposal that was acceptable to the EPA, as well as a schedule showing he would fix the problems in 60 days or less. Johnson said he has not and does not plan to give any money to the EPA. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. Markets went into a frenzy today after the price of money suddenly skyrocketed to $90 a dollar. Onion reporter spoke to economics professor Mark Cosgrave about the soaring cost of U.S. currency and the impact of increasingly unpredictable dollar-to-dollar -dollar rates. Right now, money prices are steeply rising with no signs of slowing down. This morning alone, the price of dollars nearly tripled, with one cent worth approximately $6. That's exponentially higher than even a week ago when money was trading at roughly $53 on the dollar. To put it bluntly, we're now in the midst of a national economic crisis. According to Cosgrave, the abrupt spike in dollar prices initially caused many Americans to hold on to their money, hoping that the $90 cost of dollars would soon dip back down. But as prices continued to climb, investors panicked and began purchasing as much money as possible. But with the cost of quarters hitting $4.97 and the $5 bill jumping to a 12-year high of $372, the days when you could get 30 or $40 for just a couple of bucks are unfortunately long gone. This is the Onion News Network. This is Free Talk Live, and you can bring up whatever you want right here, toll free, 855-450-FREE. We're going to talk about the disturbing situation that developed over the weekend in the D.C. area as the police state overtook a major uh, highway, shut down the entire thing, and went car to car searching for people. We'll get to that story. Uh, with you tonight in the studio, it's Ian. And Johnny Ray. And you, of course, can join us online. Just drop by freetalklive.com and enjoy the features on the site. You'll get them all for free, unlike those other talk show hosts want to charge you to access their sites. We do it free. freetalklive.com. Story coming from mydailyinformer.com, but there are all kinds of mainstream articles about this. What I like about this story is they actually include some videos, and they don't kind of brush over what was actually going on. Uh, the police state in America officially exploded into the D.C. capital region this weekend as hundreds of cars were stopped in a massive roadblock and warrantless car-to-car -car search ensued for alleged bank robbers and drivers who were met by the likes of what uh, is seen below. And I will post this story on our Facebook and Google Plus and Twitter so you can see it for yourself. One woman had to vomit and was ordered to close her car door story unfolds below, including live cell phone video of the event as well. Uh, the searches were in no way consensual and were performed with motorists under duress. There were men and women with guns throughout uh, the stopped traffic. The video footage shows uh, machine gun toting cops and sheriffs, deputies all over the place on this particular scene. Now, word is they did find the alleged bank robbers in this particular search. So, of course, because it has borne fruit, so to speak, that will justify the activity in a lot of people's minds. Whereas if they hadn't found the bank robbers, maybe more people would have been uh, upset about what they were doing. Uh, so folks were ordered at gunpoint to pop their trunks 
and allow officers to search through their cars. Uh, thousands of motorists were brought to a standstill. Twelve lanes of traffic were shut down and swarms of armed agents combed through the giant traffic jam. The busy Tuesday morning commute was abruptly halted. So I guess it was, excuse me, it wasn't this weekend. It was uh, March 11th. One driver told ABC News that traffic stopped and he witnessed 30 police cars pass on the shoulder of I-270 near Rockville, Maryland. Then, when I saw a wall of police officers with automatic weapons approaching our cars, it was apparent that something serious was taking place. Miles of cars were stranded and motorists were confined to their vehicles with no explanation for over an hour. Confused people exiting their vehicles were met with hostility from police. WTOP in D.C. reported that one woman leaned out her door to vomit. Just mentioned that. It's just awful, motorist Carmel Desroach said to WJLA describing the traffic jam. I've never seen both directions of 270 like this before. It was painful. While stuck in traffic, the motorists were approached by the armed agents and ordered at gunpoint to submit to warrantless searches of the interior of their vehicle. In the same way that in Boston last year with the Boston bombing situation, people were demanded at gunpoint to allow the police to search their homes. And was that voluntary? (laughs) Is it voluntary when a man has a gun pointed at you or your household and waves indicates that you need to come down without even using words. We had a couple of our listeners call in during the Boston bombing search that that were actually living in Watertown at the time where it was all really going down. And they said that the police didn't even say anything to them. They just, they were out on their, uh, not their, their porch, but the second story kind of veranda or whatever. And uh, the police in military fatigues were on the, uh, the ground level and they pointed up at them and, Pointed, you know, kind of pointed their weapons and indicated that they were to come out the front door without even saying anything. And I think what you're describing in Boston is more outrageous than the more recent story that we're talking about now. From, Why? Because the police, the the state owns the roads and they don't own your house. Yeah, they do. They own your house because if you don't pay taxes, they're going to take it. Right. They, they've, uh, they're threatening to put a tax lien on the, on this house, actually. Yep. Uh, it's more explicit that they own the roads and. True, it's more obvious, I suppose, to people, but I, it, I think they own... It seems like the evidence shows they own everything. Right. Uh, I, I just expect all that on the roads. I feel like the, you know, insofar as, as the government is legitimate, they, uh, they, they do own the roads. I don't pretend that they don't. But they I don't just, own your car. But your car, they do if it's on their road. Well, I, I'm pretty outraged by this. It's very disturbing, and watching the videos is really creepy. I mean, uh, I, this is not the kind of place that, that I feel like I would want to live, and I think it's absolutely horrifying. There's a, an interview that they did with a man named Don Troop. He was one of the many innocent drivers who experienced the ordeal. A group of officers made its way to his car and others around him. He says they were just walking along saying, Pop the trunk! Pop the trunk! He overheard a man in a truck next to him call out to another motorist that the police are looking for bank robbers. Short time later, about nine officers approached his car, including state police in tan uniforms, county police in dark uniforms, and at least one plainclothes officer wearing a yellow tie. Among their commands to that motorist, uh, the troop overheard, stay in your car, pop the trunk, get your hands on the steering wheel, get your hands up where we can see them. And I guess there are a lot of people who are going to make excuses for this. I mean... The bank robbers must be caught, right, Johnny Ray? We've got to just stop everybody from getting where they were going to totally destroy whatever level of uh, you know commerce was going on, interfere in people getting home or going to work or going you know to do their shopping. What what am, I don't know what amount of money these guys got from the bank, but it certainly wasn't tantamount to whatever it was that was lost in productivity from people being held up on the roads for however many hours this took. I mean, they stopped miles worth of traffic and went car to car in a search. Yeah, I'll buy that. The just what you said about people's productivity and the uh, the 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 bank, the folks at the bank were were helped out at the expense of all these hundreds of other people. The the state made a choice to help somebody over somebody else. They will always make that choice. And not only help the bank, but to threaten other people and point guns at them. In order to get their cooperation in this uh, in this way. By the way, banks are insured against robbery. 
And from what I read in another post about this same incident is the bank actually helped the police find where the robbers were because apparently they put some sort of GPS tracking device in the bag with the money. Ah. So if the officers had a tracking device in the bag, why was it so necessary to shut down the entirety of the highway, 12 lanes worth of traffic? Why couldn't they just quietly track the uh, the men with the, the device and see where they went and follow them? without having to disrupt everyone's day and threaten people at gunpoint. If you'd like to share your thoughts, you're welcome to join us here toll-free at 855-450-FREE. Another story I pulled up, we actually have a caller about this. Uh, Sean's Outpost is being threatened. It's a Bitcoin-based charity in Pensacola, Florida, helping homeless people. And I believe this is Jason King uh, calling in. Jason, is, is that you? Yeah, man, it's me. Hey, uh, Jason is, by the way, me? running. Yeah, we got you. He's running across the country, Bitcoin across America. We've kind of talked to him a couple times about that, but I, I imagine that's not the reason you're calling today. Apparently, you guys are under attack yeah. again by the, the local government. Yeah, it's good. So today's actually the one-year anniversary. It's like our first birthday of Sean's Outpost. Um, so for um, for our birthday present from Escambia County, um, they uh, they had a kind of like a, a secret last-minute meeting um, to vote to um, to file uh, an injunction of emergency relief against us. Because um, once again, uh, you know, if you're helping the homeless, um, that's an imminent danger <laughs> to society. Mm-hmm. Um, so. Uh, it, it, it's it's been wonderful. It's been a great day. They really ought to just give you a, some sort of a plaque or a trophy because what you're really doing is you're helping the homeless by giving them a place to, to live. I mean, Sean's Outpost is, I believe, the owner of Satoshi Forest, and that is a, a, a what is it, nine acres of woodland, essentially? Yeah, we're, that- we're a nine-acre ho- we're a nine-acre home, homeless sanctuary, um, and this uh, this latest attack is actually I mean, it, it's not unexpected because you know when, whenever you're dealing with a state like these sort of attacks should never really you know, surprise you. Um, sure. But um, but uh, uh, going to commercial break. Can you stand by, Jason, so we can continue the discussion? Gladly. I'd like to do that. We'll Jason King hold. here from Sean's Outpost is going to give us the latest on what's happening there, as the state in Florida, or in, in this case the Escambia County gang has brought some fresh threats against Sean's outpost and we'll find out more about that coming up here in a moment 855 450 free no good deed goes unpunished this is free talk live I want to share something important that will not only improve your life, but the lives of many others as well. And all you need to do is drink coffee. I'm not talking about harmful store-bought or chain coffee. No, this is truly the best of the best coffee. We've partnered with Kamano Island Coffee Roasters to offer BuzzBox. With every purchase, 10% goes towards our efforts to give the gift of human freedom by providing at least 100 microfinance loans via World Vision. So literally, just one cup at a time, you're having an impact in helping make a difference in the world and one sip will have you buzzing to family and friends to prove just how good it is we're giving a free pound of coffee to everyone in the audience all you do is cover shipping go to coffee.freetalklive.com buzzbox coffee is organic so it contains no pesticides or toxins it's shade grown so less acidity and no heartburn it's top 1% Arabica grade and gives people the opportunity to own their own coffee farms join us in making a huge impact at coffee.freetalklive.com Again, the Congressional Budget Office sounds the alarm, this time warns of Greek-style U.S. debt crises. You heard me right. The GAO is drawing a parallel between the U.S. economy, its debt, and the current Greek economic meltdown. With the debt-to-GDP chart climbing into unfamiliar territory, the growing budget deficit will rise to unsupportable levels. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. The Federal Debt and Risk of Financial Crises document the CBO has published is a must-read for every American. Covering the risk of continued deficit spending coupled with an aging population and the rising interest rates spell economic disaster. It's imperative that you get a copy of this document and study it for yourself. Call me today at 800-686-2237 and I'll send you a free copy. Again, call 800-686-2237 and ask for your copy of the CBO document. Once again, you need to read this government report. Call 800-686-2237.
Free Press Publications is an independent alternative media and publishing company founded in June 2009 with the mission of ensuring a free press for the freedom movement and is committed to spreading the message of peace, freedom, love, and liberty. FPP also gives new authors an avenue for publishing freedom-oriented material. FPP brings you daily news and commentary at FPP.cc, as well as weekly news in the FPP Freedom Minute and Peace, Love, Liberty Radio at FPPradio.com. The monthly newspaper FPP News at news.fpp.cc and books at shop.fpp.cc. Find FPP online at fpp.cc. That's fpp.cc, as in Creative Commons. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone. 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. If you want to move to the free state and you're looking for some real estate, well, I know a guy who's really great. It's the Realtor Mark Warden. Do you want a home with 20 acres, a lakeside cabin, any takers for renters, buyers, and sellers too? Mark Warden is the guy for you. PorcupineRealEstate.com If you enjoy LRN.FM, please contribute to your favorite shows via their websites and become an amplifier at amp.lrn.fm. That's amp.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live, take control, toll free here at 855-453, that's 855-450-3733. Join us online, drop by freetalklive.com and enjoy the features that we share with you. We talked a lot about Bitcoin on Free Talk Live and blockchain.info as the best solution to Getting a Bitcoin wallet and easily being able to access it on, say, your mobile device. If you've got an Android phone, they've got a really cool app that makes it so easy to transfer your Bitcoins from point A to point B anywhere around the world. If you are using a non-Android app like a BlackBerry or iPhone, you'll have to use the blockchain HTML5 wallet, which uh, works very well from what I understand. Blockchain.info is where you can go to do that. They've uh, been having some downtime, unfortunately, though, although the website is up Uh, When I checked it earlier, and I'll check it right now for you, but when I checked it earlier, oh, they're back, I think. Looks like they're more back than they were before. Earlier today, it had a message, the site had a message linking to their Twitter profile where they were updating people on a hardware issue they were having. Not security related, but just a hardware failure that they were uh, working on, and apparently they have... uh, They've solved that. So go to blockchain.info. You can grab your free Bitcoin wallet there. Get started with Bitcoins. We'll tell you about later on how you can actually get the Bitcoins into your Bitcoin wallet. Blockchain.info. Ian, rem- yes, sir. Uh, remember last week I was talking about how I had dropped my phone into a bucket of uh, caustic chemicals. Mm-hmm. I realized a day later that I had, uh, I had a little bit of Bitcoin on that phone. Uh-huh. And I haven't attempted any kind of recovery, but I did seem to remember me emailing myself uh, the uh, my keys, my private keys. So, was it a blockchain wallet? No, it wasn't a blockchain oh, okay. wallet. I, I don't know which one it is, but it's um, it's just a, it's a smartphone uh, wallet. Hmm. You should switch to blockchain because uh, if you're using blockchain's wallet and your phone dies or whatever, you still have the wallet. You can still go to their website, get your new phone, and sync that to the wallet. So it doesn't actually keep the bitcoins on your phone. It's just a way for you to access your bitcoins. Uh huh. So let's go back to uh, somebody who knows a thing or two about bitcoins. He's running across the country with Bitcoin Across America, and uh, Jason King is his name from Sean's Outpost. Now, Jason, uh, you where are you right now, by the way? 
Um, so right now I'm in Seguin, Texas, which is about 50 miles outside of San Antonio, Texas. Okay, and still uh, running every single day. You've got the um, a huge RV painted yellow and black, uh, which was awesome yeah. to see in real life in Austin when I was there yeah, last every day week. I'm hustling. For sure. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, I'd love to talk more about that, but there's something more uh, urgent going on with Sean's Outpost, the homeless charity that you started about a year back, uh, with uh, where you you guys actually bought a piece of property with Bitcoin, uh, nine acres Correct. of wooded land. You call it Satoshi Forest. It's a place where homeless people can come and and camp. And it would seem to me that you're performing a real service, not only for homeless people, but for people who, you know, there's a lot of people in Florida, there's a viewpoint of uh, get the homeless out of sight kind of viewpoint. They uh, they really want to clean, sure. clean up the streets uh, of the homeless people, and in the process, they're very, very nasty to them. And uh, they, they, they pass ordinances in various cities like Orlando and Sarasota that prohibit feeding people in public places. And it's just absolutely ridiculous what they do to these poor people. So you've given them a place to stay, which presumably, if the if homeless people are staying in Satoshi Forest, then there are probably not as many of them staying like behind people's houses or whatever. That it, it, it takes them out of other places. Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, uh, you know, it, it's still functionally illegal to be homeless in Escambia County. Um, so at the very least, we are you know relieving the taxpayers of the burden of having to arrest homeless people and put them into prison, which is significantly more expensive than just letting them stay in Satoshi Forest. Absolutely. Um, now you've also delivered yeah. what sixty thousand meals to homeless people, funded by Bitcoin over the last year or so. Yeah, over 60,000 meals, um, which we're extremely proud of. Um, and that, that actually makes us the, lar- the largest feeder, uh, the largest, um, I guess, feeder is the word, of, uh, of, home- of the homeless in uh, Escambia County. Um, and, uh, and for an organization that's only one year old, we're, ex- we're extremely proud of that. Jason, where does the Sean come from in Sean's Outpost? I've always been curious about um, so- that. So um, Sean's outpost is named after Sean Dugas. He was my best friend who was murdered in 2012. Wow. And, um, and, and we run uh, Sean's outpost as a memorial to a wonderful person that was taken before his time. I'm very sorry to hear that. So um, I've got the story here from Bitcoin Bombs, Bitcoin Not Bombs dot com. Looks like uh, Megan, I believe that's MK Lords, uh, posted this about what's going on. They've filed some sort of suit against. Was have they sued Sean's Outpost or you personally? What's going on? Yeah. Um, so the, so basically, um, the county commission today um, agreed unanimously to file an injunctive relief, which is essentially the corporate version of a restraining order um, against Satoshi Forest to force us to um, to evict everyone um, from Satoshi Forest. Um, and what's really disturbing about this is that, you know, as, uh, as anarchists as we are, we have been going through the, their process uh, of, you know, actually officially becoming a campground. And they've actually taken us to court twice, and we prevailed twice, and in the, in the judge in both of those cases has, has found that we are not in violation of, of, of code or ordinance, um, and that there is, no, there is no law preventing us from having people camping on our property. Hmm. And, um, and, and what's really disturbing is if you go to the last county commission meeting, there were still some people complaining about Satoshi Forest and and um, Jean Valentino, who was one of our county commissioners, actually is on record saying that that if the magistrate that they have been that we've been dealing with in court won't play ball, that they will find a judge that will. Um, <laughs> so literally, this is this is the enactor of that, which is that they are now, you know, since going through the proper court procedure like that they forced upon us didn't get them the relief that they wanted. They're now going to another judge. It's probably somebody's poker buddy or something, somebody like that mm-hmm. to try to force us to kick people off, even though, even though their own judge has said that what we're doing is not illegal um, and told them to leave us alone. Um, but, you know, that, that's the government for you. So what what is happening here? Is this an emergency injunction? Megan's blog post makes it sound like it might be, which means that you've got a very short amount of time to appear in court. What's the legal status here? So we'll we'll find out. They didn't serve us today. Um, mm-hmm. So our guess is that they serve us tomorrow, and then so when we actually receive that that service, we'll know if it's a normal um, if it's a normal injunctive relief, which we'll have like two weeks to prepare for, or if it's emergency service, which means we'll actually be in court in forty eight hours. Um, and my guess is that they're planning on it being an emergency service because um, both of our legal counsel are out of town or will be out of town on Friday. So um, we think it's probably them purposely not playing fair 
because uh, that's just sort of par for the course for Escambia County. Right. Um, I mean, the, why, it, you know, it's disturbing. People have been living there for <laughs> you know, for uh, for a long period of time. Now, all of a sudden, they want you know to do something about this. And they, what are their their goal is to evict people from a forest. So where are they going to go after that? They're going to just start camping out in random places, right? That that's correct, and you know, regardless of of what your feelings are on the homeless, or if you think that some people should house the homeless, this is really an attack on private property. Absolutely, you know, Satoshi Forest is is private property, and you know, the government's coming in, and they're not even saying that we can't do what what we want to on our land. What they're saying is, is that if a branch of the government says that we can do that, and they don't like that, well, they'll just get another branch of the government to come in and shut us down. And they can keep filing suit after suit after suit uh, at almost no cost because they can just have their city attorneys do it, and they're already getting paid salary so you guys have to keep paying to defend yourself it's absolutely outrageous absolutely. jason uh folks can follow along where uh sean's outpost.com and uh, bitcoinacrossamerica.com keep up the good work out there and thanks for the update tonight more coming up on free talk live Thanks, Ian. take care virtually anyone cell phone and track your calls your texts your emails your every movement but only if they can detect a signal Stay one step ahead of hackers and Big Brother with a block at Pocket, a custom-made pocket infused with pure silver that creates a complete Faraday enclosure for your cell phone. For free shipping to the lower 48, visit BlockItPocket.com or call 888-315-9618, BlockItPocket.com, enhancing health and privacy. Did you know that organic sulfur can cleanse and defend your body against the poisons we're exposed to each day? Organic sulfur crystals from sulfurdefense.com help by forcing oxygen and nutrition into your cells while eliminating heavy metals, contaminants, and damaging radiation. Defend yourself and family from toxic assault with one of the most critical and essential minerals available today. Order online at sulfurdefense.com. That's sulfurdefense.com. Or call 800-593-6273. With job numbers near historic lows, Forbes magazine has released a list of tips for finding a job, all of which involve witnessing an employer murder someone. Forbes says despite the grim economy, employers are still hungry for talented workers who know how important it is to forget about whatever they think they saw or heard. So uh, me and a couple of friends were out smoking at the viaduct the other day, and uh, we saw this really rich guy in a Mercedes pull up in his car and drop a uh, nothing. Now I'm the Vice President of International Development. According to Goldman Sachs CEO Lloyd Blankfein, we had a great quarter and hired hundreds of new employees. I haven't done anything wrong and all my employees will tell you the same thing because that's the deal we had. But the article warns that stumbling onto a coke fueled CEO strangling a prostitute isn't a foolproof method for finding work because employers are just as likely to murder you as they are to hire you. This is the Onion News Network. In every age, the technology is created that upends the foundations of society. The wheel, the printing press, the internet. Now, in a world sliding into financial chaos, a new technology is changing the way monetary systems work around the world. It is called Bitcoin. Bitcoin is a new form of money controlled not by banks, governments, or corporations, but through mutual commerce between free individuals. To learn more, visit WeUseCoins.com. Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. What if the key to achieving liberty in your lifetime was to move together with others who think like you? Liberty activists are joining the Free State Project, which is over 70% of the way to its goal of 20,000 participants. And they're already making the move to New Hampshire. The successes are piling up and are proving the Free State Project is a real movement and no longer just a great idea. When you're planning your move, consider Keene. Keen is famous for its civil disobedience and non-cooperation, and there's plenty of political opportunity as well. From demonstrations and vigils to outreach and volunteering, there's a lot going on in Keene. Keene is the liberty media capital of the world, with television, talk radio, and more, all originating here. Though it's more than just activism, with regular social events each week. 
See what's happening at freekeen.com and get connected with video, audio, free books, a forum, and activist tools you can download and use in your area at freekeen.com. That's freekeen.com. You can watch the LRN Studio Cam and chat with other listeners anytime at cam.lrn.fm. That's cam.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. Take control here toll free, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. And you can join us online at freetalklive.com. Enjoy the features waiting for you to create the content right there on the front page of the website. Everything there, those news stories, YouTube videos, blog posts, as you scroll down the page, what you see has been placed there by listeners like you. You can do that by going to freetalklive.com. You need a free Reddit account and free talk live account. You combine the two accounts together in a very simple process. And then at that point, it'll be easy for you to interact with the content right there on the front page. You can vote up what you like, down what you don't like. You can submit fresh content to the site. And then we'll consider that to talk about on the air. Go to freetalklive.com. Get interactive for free. That's freetalklive.com. Now, you can also get something cool for free right now by going to proxpn.com slash FTL and get a free account with ProXPN. It's a global virtual private network that encrypts your online data before it reaches your internet service provider. Provider. So your ISP right now, if you're not using ProXPN, they probably are logging every website you visit and every search term that you enter for up to five years. ProXPN doesn't log your internet activity. So you protect yourself from your ISP snooping on you or other people snooping on you. Maybe you're at a coffee shop. The administrator at the coffee shop wants to know what you're doing online or somebody sniffing your packets from the Wi-Fi card in your laptop. Uh, all of these things are possible. But if you've got ProXPN then you've solved that problem. ProXPN.com slash FTL. It's a global virtual private network, and it works very, very well. Now, you can go and get the free account right now, but you're going to want to upgrade to the premium package for 5 bucks a month. And you can get that $5 price by using our discount code FTL20, which gives you 20% off for the lifetime of your account. And you do have to get the annual plan to get that deep, deep discount down to 5 bucks a month. But if you want to use the 20% off code, you can do that on the monthly package as well. But it's a great deal because not only you're protecting yourself from your ISP snooping on you, but you can also select your location for the server of your choice. In that, ProXPN has different servers around the world. So if you want to make it look like you're in Singapore, you can connect to their Singapore server. There's one in the Netherlands, another one in, I think, London, and a new one in Prague. There's also some in the United States. Though if you're going to be doing private torrenting, I would recommend that you connect to the Netherlands server for certain reasons where like, even though your privacy is protected, if you connect to their US servers, they can still get DMCA notices, the Digital Millennium Copyright Act notices sent to them. And so if you want to avoid that happening, just connect to their Netherlands server. The privacy protections in the Netherlands are a lot stronger. So proxpn.com slash FTL. They're very concerned about your privacy. And you get a great discount with code FTL20 for 20% off for the lifetime of the account. You can also pay in Bitcoin if you like for the annual plan and save even more. There's a risk-free seven-day money-back guarantee. Proxpn.com slash FTL. To the phones and the fun, we go to John in Minnesota. You're on Free Talk Live. John. Yes, uh, uh, you have. What's what state are you living in right now? I am living in a state of bliss, New Hampshire. Okay, you have titles to your cars in New Hampshire. I don't have a car, but uh, there is a car that I drive that is not a New Hampshire titled car. It is uh, titled elsewhere. Oh, it is titled. See, the state in Minnesota, we don't have a title. We have a certificate of title. Right. That's that's what I meant. Uh, do you, do you oh, want to explain state, what you mean see, by the that? The state holds a title. The state holds a title to your car, mm -hmm. and then they give you a certificate of title. But they own the car when you uh, when you turn it over to them. Well, most people uh, don't turn it over to them because uh, the the actual title goes on file when it's purchased. So the I believe yeah, isn't it give, the isn't it the car the, dealer the one that's turning it over? Yeah, the uh, the car dealer uh, uh, turn, does all the paperwork. They will not give you a title to the car. They give it to the state, and mm -hmm. then they give you a certificate of title because the state is holding the title to the car. 
Yeah, well, this is an interesting uh, theory that I believe there's some evidence for, but ultimately, you know, is the goal to inform people of this so they can't do anything about it, or is there some way to actually get the title? I don't know. I don't know how to do it. Gotcha. So you were just calling to... But I do to, know that to, the, the, the cars before you bought, before 1971, uh, you got the title for it, then you would register the car with the state. And when you registered the car with the state, would you then have to hand over the title? No. So were you just calling to sort of inform people about that? Yeah, yeah. They can check it out in their state to see what technically, because when you put money in the bank, they don't, they don't, they have the deposit and they give you a certificate of deposit, but they, they have the money and, and tell you to take it out, you know. John, thanks for your call tonight. I appreciate hearing from you. 855 450 free. What do you think about that, Johnny Ray? Just, I guess he was referencing the roadblock story in Washington. No, he was just talking about titles in general, titling cars and things like that. The The, the theory is that uh, you don't actually have uh, ownership of the car, that when the car is sold to you, the title for the car is actually given to the state rather than to you, and that you are given a evidence that the title exists, which is the certificate of title. That's the claim, and I've you know looked into it a little bit. It seems like it might be true, but what are you going to do about it? <laughs> I've, uh, I don't know. I, I, I do have a car. I bought one uh, in Nashua. Yeah. And I don't know. I, I assume that the title was in my glove compartment somewhere. Yeah. If you do look at the um, look at what you call the title, it, uh, it does usually say certificate of title, which means that in theory, the title itself is actually on file with the state and you have a certificate, uh, which is evidence that the title exists, but not in your uh, not in your possession. Interesting, huh? Fascinating. Yeah, I mean, I think it's just like, you know, it's one of those kind of legal theory things that there seems to be evidence for, but ultimately, you know, the question is, well, what do you do about it, right? Because the, the other theory I've heard is that if you go and buy a new car, that there may be some way for you to actually get the title to that car if you're paying with cash or something like that. So I've heard that rumor, but I don't know if it's true. I don't know what really, what good it would do you anyway. Well, I mean, what... If you actually had the title to the car, how is that going to change anything about your life? How is that going to affect your rights? I mean, it, does that mean that the cops aren't going to be able to seize your car at any given moment if they want to? Of course not. If they want to take your car for whatever reason, you know, claim that you had a, a pot leaf or something like that in the back seat and use that as the excuse to just take your car. I, I highly doubt that if you tell the officer, well, sir, you can't do that because I've got the title to this car and it's my car. I don't think that's going to really help you out of that situation. Yeah. My impression about the law really is it's all a lot of dross. It's just a, it's just a bunch of, of words and it's really not that important. It's there to confuse people. Oh yeah. And the the state is gonna gonna do what they want to do, and they they use the law when it's convenient for them, and they'll ignore it when it's convenient for them as well. Uh, but a lot of people really get really jazzed up about you know diving into these these legal theories, and um, I don't. Well, I think that uh, it's. I can understand the uh, the interest that people have in it. They f I, I can't. They feel like uh, you know there's they feel like there's some sort of way out that they're in this legal maze of confusion that has been sort of built up over decades or if not over a hundred years. Uh, maybe even longer than that, but this really confusing legal morass that if they just learn the escape route, they'll truly be free. And I don't think that that's realistic. It's not, there's no evidence that there is such a route. There are a lot of uh, hucksters out there who will sell you what they proclaim to be the, the path out. And, uh, you know, if you actually try to implement the ideas that they will uh, sell to you, then you'll end up behind bars. And there's nothing you can do to the person who sold it to you at, at that point. So I can understand the desire that drives people to try to understand this because they feel like if they just know the right magic words, if they just know the right forms to file, if they just know how it all works, that they'll be able to apply some sort of solution 
through the legal system. And it, and I agree with your assessment, Johnny Ray. It doesn't matter what you know. It doesn't matter how much you know about their system. They can still do whatever they want to do and get away with it. The discussion of the law reminds me of my recent experience with Crusader Kings. I'll tell you later. All right. More coming up here in moments. 855 450 free. That's a game, by the way. Uh-huh. And we'll continue with Johnny Ray. And your thoughts are welcome on whatever's on your mind here on Free Talk Live. The following is an important free offer for smokers only. The makers of Victor, the world's most advanced e cigarette, have just authorized the release of free starter kits to all smokers who call in the next 10 minutes. Valued at $99, these Victor Starter Kits are available for free, but only while supplies last. To guarantee your free kit, call in the next 10 minutes, 1-800-564-6941. The revolutionary Victor design creates only water vapor. There is no foul-smelling smoke and no unhealthy tar. This allows individuals to enjoy the nicotine they love without restriction, no matter where they are. The financial advantages over cigarettes are considerable as well. It is estimated that the average smoker can save hundreds of dollars a month with Victor. Again, free Vic starter kits are now available to any smoker who calls in the next 10 minutes. This is a radio-only offer not available in stores, so call now for your free kit. 1-800-564-6941. 1-800-564-6941. 1-800-564-6941. Hey everyone, have you heard about the no-no hair removal device that's sweeping the globe? If you want to go weeks without shaving and get smooth, professional quality results, here's our favorite host, Cheryl, for no-no hair removal. Thanks. Hey gals, I love talking about my no-no. It's this cute little hair removal system that you can take with you and use almost anywhere at home or on the road. No more expensive in-office treatments, painful waxing, and no more wasting your valuable time. Got unwanted facial hair? No-no has patented Thermacon technology that works on all hair and skin colors. So it's perfect for using on all body parts. And now you can take advantage of this incredible risk-free trial. Get the no-no, the facial kit, a travel case, and a $100 discount shopping card. And you don't risk a penny to try it. Try the incredible no-no hair completely risk-free. Call 1-800-953-6062. That's 800-953-6062. 800-953-6062. The Shire Free Church offers a sanctuary to those seeking an escape from state churches. The Shire Free Church is an interfaith, diverse group of people that may not share identical theological beliefs. As a member in or minister of the Shire Free Church, you are a sovereign individual and may be the faith of your choice. We don't claim to have all of the answers. We are open to all peaceful people. We want to learn from each other. What unifies the Shire Free Church and its diverse members is peace, love, and liberty. There are many paths to God, one for every individual. The Shire Free Church does not define a specific path beyond those parameters that must be your foundation. Peace as your way, love as your guide, and liberty as your light. Learn more at church.shiresociety.com. That's church.shiresociety.com. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. Liberty activists around the country are starting to realize politics alone won't set us free. So what will? At Liberty on the Rocks, we believe the answer starts with living your principles, spreading ideas, and connecting with those around you. By starting a Liberty on the Rocks network, you can make a difference by uniting libertarian thinkers. Find out how much fun it is to build your local network from the ground up. Visit libertyontherocks.org today to get started. You're listening to the best liberty-oriented audio streamed around the clock, on the air, and online. This is the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. This is Free Talk Live, and we're here to take your calls about whatever's on your mind. 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Coming up, Johnny Ray. 
You're going to tie in legal theories with a Crusader Kings story? Yes, Crusader Kings 2. A, a video game that you've been uh, playing. We'll uh, get to that here in a little bit. Your calls come first, 855-450 free. By the way, we've got Skype if you'd like to Skype into the show. Send a contact request to username lrn.fm and then you'll be accepted. It might take a segment or two for me to get around to it, but I'll get you in. And then you can call in easily on Skype from that point forward. Now, most people want to get ahead in life, and nearly all of Free Talk Live's listeners would like to persuade more people toward the idea of freedom. But did you know that some of the solutions that claim to help you grow actually backfire? Well, the good news is that 70 years of science shows that even the best leaders can get better, but only if they practice in ways that actually work. Dr. Matt Barney, founder of LeaderAmp, has coached and taught thousands of successful leaders around the world for the last 20 years using the latest science of what works. Dr. Barney has drafted blueprints for a new smartphone application to measure each person and tailor a customized developmental plan, some of which will be pushed to your smartphone. His vision is to build a community who can access approaches that really work and support each other's development as leaders. Uniquely, it will allow you to compare your leadership with famous historical leaders like Gandhi or Steve Jobs jobs to help you see that they weren't perfect but overcame their own limitations with practice. The app isn't ready yet. It's currently being built, but if you'd like to help advance an approach to grow Freedom Lovers' persuasion skills, we'd love for you to join the community. Feel free to pre-order on Indiegogo via leaderamp.freetalklive.com. So when you go to that website, it takes you to the LeaderAmp Indiegogo page where you can help them fundraise for this project. Leaderamp.freetalklive.com. Amp your leadership at leaderamp.freetalklive.com. Let's go to the phones and to your thoughts. Fred is in California, listening online to LRN.FM. Hey, Fred. Yes, uh, I was taken by uh, your coverage of Sean's outpost, yes, sir. Uh, Jason King, the founder. Um, I, I want to give a couple of uh, referrals to him. Um, one is MarkStevens.net. Mm-hmm. And also on Republic Broadcast Network, there's a fellow by the name of Clint Richardson of the Corporation Nation. He's on every evening from 5 to 7. And what what Jason King needs to know as a defendant in the court is that the plaintiff that's making this uh, action against him has to prove standing in court. He has to show a cause of action in order to establish jurisdiction in the court. So he can easily do this by asking the, the prosecutor, did you file a valid cause of action against me? And that's the worst thing that he wants to have asked him, because in order for him to file a cause of action, he has to meet the three elements of a cause of action. That, and that's one of your questions, uh, Jason, that you need to ask him. What are the elements of the cause of action? And if he cannot answer that, he's incompetent, and there's no jurisdiction. Um, it's hard to, to to put this all in. in now, are you uh, talking about a civil? You're talking about in a civil case? Absolutely, hmm. absolutely. It, it it goes all the way from a constitutional event all the way down to a. Uh, a parking violation. So what are the, the uh, elements of a valid cause of action? Okay, the three elements are, let's see, uh, well, is there any injury? Did his action cause an injury to the plaintiff? That's one. Uh, the other one uh is, let me see here. Da, 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 da. Now, if you go into a courtroom and you ask someone uh, if they have filed a valid cause of action and you don't know what the uh, the elements of the cause of action are supposed to be, that's not going to okay, look very good, right? Be injury or damage. Yeah. A violation of a legal right to anybody. And who is responsible for making amends? To this, if it were to happen. The other thing, too, that as a defendant in court, when the prosecutor 
stands up, identifies himself, his name, and he says, I represent the state, then you as a defendant should raise your hand to the judge and ask for a clarification. And then you should turn to the prosecutor and ask him this question. What factual evidence do you have to show that you, in fact, represent the state? Because he doesn't. Have you ever tried these uh, these legal theories? Yeah, it got me out of a parking ticket. And no see, kidding. The illusion, no kidding. The illusion what what part of it is, got you out of the parking ticket? What uh, what uh, what what line? What approach did you use? Well, uh, I asked uh, the uh, person that wrote the ticket if he filed a valid cause of action. In other words, did parking, in this case, in a red zone, injure another party? Was I parked in front of a hydrant? No. It was a pink zone. It hadn't been painted for like eight years. But cities make their money on this by, by not painting curves, but citing people in them. So... What you do is every plaintiff has to... No, no, no. I want to hear more about your story. So, I, look, I'm familiar with Mark Stevens and Adventures in Legal Land and the No State Project. I, I program LRN.FM, so I actually give him airtime uh, on my network for his show. And I like a lot of what Mark says. I don't know about the other guy. I've never heard of him, the, the, the other show that you mentioned. But I like a lot of what he says, but I also know that it's not perfect and... Uh, you know, I've tried to implement a number of those ideas. In a lot of cases, the state just doesn't care. They're going to do what they're going to do. So I'm, I'm glad to hear that it actually worked out for you, this approach. But so yeah. when you when you brought up the question about, you know, you know, did you file a valid cause of action in the parking ticket trial, what happened? He didn't file it. He has no standing in court. The court has no jurisdiction. Wait, wait, wait. I'm he confused. Went- he didn't file the ticket? The, you mean the prosecutor didn't file the ticket? It was filed by an agent, uh, the parking agent? Or I'm confused. A ticket, a traffic ticket, is nothing more than a summons and a claim. That's all it is. It's not a cause of action. It doesn't say anything. Um, all it does is that you've got to respond to me um, without your consent, by the way. Mm-hmm. And um, so when you get into court, um, the, the first thing you want to establish is that is this court in jurisdiction. See, the premise here is this. Um, the court is pretending to have jurisdiction based under what the definition of a citizen is under the original Constitution, and that's this. A citizen is defined as a member of the body politic that has a duty of allegiance to the government. It's a contractual agreement, and the government, in return, has to show a duty to protect and maintain your individual rights. Which they don't have, and, as the uh, Supreme Court has ruled over and over. They don't have any obligation to protect you, so therefore there can be no citizens. So I, under- not- I understand all that, and it's just that usually the courts don't care about any of this stuff. They'll just go ahead and do whatever they want to do, because they know they can, and it doesn't matter what you say. But I'm glad to hear that you actually won on the parking ticket. Did you uh, happen to record any video or audio of that success? Uh, I didn't. I tell you, those guys down there, uh, I mean, it, it was a TSA adventure uh, before you could get into court. Um, mm. But um, So here's yeah, what I'd like to see. I'd like to see more people trying different tactics, because I'm don't. i not going to say one tactic is the best. There are a lot of different theories out there. Some of them may be better than others. Um, but I'd like to well, see more experimentation uh, rather than kind of going about things the standard way. And I'd like to see right. it happen here in New Hampshire, where we can get cameras into the courtrooms. I'll be going and recording a trial tomorrow morning here in Keene. Uh, it's not a problem yeah. at all to get a camera into a courtroom here in New Hampshire. So I'd recommend that if you want a chance at more freedom, you check out the Free State Project and come on up here. And if, uh, if you want to get a parking ticket here in Keene, I'll be happy to come out and record the trial. And we'll see how you do here. And I thank you, Fred, for the call. And thanks for the uh, for making it tonight. 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Johnny Gray, you've had a little bit of experience in court. What do you think about the uh, the legal theories there that he was espousing? Uh, I've 
gone to court three times with with my one tactic that seemed to me to be as plain in plain English and black and white, and it's worked 30% of the time. <laughs> All right, we'll come back with more uh, here in moments. Hour number two is on the way. You can One of the things you can count on the government for is inconsistency. Uh, hour number two is next. You can take control. 855-450-FREE. This is Free Talk Live. Travel in bubbles, fly at hyperspeed With brain implants and artificial gravity A scientific genius and his clever assistant Set out on an adventure through the solar system On a secret mission to find the key To access new frontiers and save liberty QuantumVibe.com From Big Head Press the flooring experts at Lumber Liquidators have over 8 million square feet of top quality flooring that must be cleared out by end of quarter, March 31st. Get donor oak laminate flooring for only 49 cents a square foot. Exotic black mamba hand scraped bamboo for just $1.89. Even three quarter inch pre finished hickory hardwood for an unheard of $2.59 a square foot. They've got free samples at your local store plus 22 month special financing available. So go to lumberliquidators.com now to find the store nearest you. Are you looking for camping, hunting, survival, or shooting gear? ManVentureOutpost.com carries the name brands you want at the lowest prices. Ammunition, knives, firearm accessories, archery, air guns, scopes, binoculars, laser sights, tactical flashlights, fish finders, and boating equipment. ManVentureOutpost.com is family owned and has the lowest prices. Go check it for yourself. Get it quick. Get it from ManVentureOutpost.com. Now buy firearms at ManVentureOutpost.com. If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number two is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. You're listening to the Liberty Beat, your daily source for Liberty news and activist updates online at thelibertybeat.com. This is Justin Armand. And this is Jessica Armand. Here with your Liberty Beat for March 18th, 2014. Gold opened today at $1,353, silver at $20.72, and Bitcoin is trading at $605. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from Soleil School, celebrating the uniqueness of each student in a peaceful and creative learning environment. Now enrolling children ages 5 through 9, visit SoleilSchool.com. That's S-O-L-E-I-L School.com. And from Affordable Sound, CD and DVD duplication, along with posters and promotional material online at affordablesound.com or give them a call at 512-459-5253 and from Sovereign BTC marketing, media and consulting for the Bitcoin ecosystem online at sovereignbtc.com and now the news on Sunday hackers brought down several websites related to the North Atlantic Treaty Organization these hackers claimed that the distributed denial of service attacks were meant as retaliation for NATO interfering with Ukraine. NATO's main public site, NATO.INT, was hacked as well as a NATO cybersecurity center in Estonia and NATO's unclassified email network. As the public begins to question the actions of the CIA regarding spying on the Senate Intelligence Committee, members of the Senate themselves are divided. Speaking on the Senate floor last Wednesday, Senator Saxby Chambliss of Georgia said he believed a special investigator should be assigned to uncover what extent the CIA was monitoring the actions of the committee. Senator Chambliss, the top Republican on the Intelligence Committee, stated that he would not take sides in the matter until the facts were known. His comments came a day after Senator Dianne Feinstein broke her silence on the controversy. Feinstein stated that she felt the need to speak out after seeing a number of misleading media reports. She has been quoted here, I have been trying to resolve this dispute in a discreet and respectful way. However, the increasing amount of inaccurate information circulating around cannot be allowed to stand unanswered. 
The Intelligence Committee recently discovered it was the subject of monitoring by the CIA while working on completing a report on U.S.-supported torture programs. A CIA official shot back that the committee was violating federal law by possessing a classified report on detainees. The Obama administration continues to set records that will cement this presidency as one of the most secretive in United States history. According to an Associated Press analysis, after five years in office, the Obama administration has doubled the amount of times information was withheld when requested via the Freedom of Information Act. As Americans learn of the spying program conducted by the CIA and the NSA, requests for information are on the rise. However, in the last year, the government cited national security 8,496 times in order to keep information from being disclosed publicly. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from Dorothy Erminger at Capstar Lending. Dorothy can walk you through the ins and outs of buying a home. Call her at 512-343-6494 or apply online at calldorothy.com and MLS 216-624. And from the Corey Moore Show, live Friday nights, 9 p.m. Central Standard Time at coreymoreshow.com. And from Brave New Books, online at bravenewbookstore.com. You're listening to the Liberty Beat for Mark. March 18th, 2014. Be sure to check out the website at thelibertybeat.com. After decades of believing that saturated fat leads to heart disease, a new discovery proves otherwise. The Telegraph reports that researchers at Cambridge University have discovered that saturated fat does not cause heart disease. This study shows that doing away with fatty meat, cream, or butter is unlikely to improve health. A new joint report from the Center for Investigative Reporting and The Guardian finds the modern process of rehabilitating toxic sites inefficient and costly. According to the report, while poisonous materials are shuffled between treatment plants, harmful waste simply continues to multiply. Algerian authorities are cracking down on protesters, deploying large number of police to make arrests and preventing demonstrations in the capital. The move comes ahead of the upcoming presidential elections. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from Mass Appeal Printing, your source for anything printed since 1972. Now accepting Bitcoin online at massappealinc.com and from growyourowngroceries.org, homegrown food on every table. That's growyourowngroceries.org. This is the Onion Week in Review. According to sources, all 6.5 million residents of Indiana spontaneously formed thousands of perfectly uniform rows throughout the state Monday morning and established a collective consciousness. Saying, we are Indiana, the new hive mind talked and moved in unison with citizens working together to build a massive geometric superstructure in downtown Indianapolis where they would gather to sleep, breed, and feed. All the for Indiana. The collective state went on to report that soon Ohio, Illinois, Michigan, Kentucky, and Canada would all become Indiana. Persons close to Phoenix area friends Jake Welter and Mike Seflin confirmed Friday that the two men are absolutely incapable of greeting each other like normal human beings. Sources say the two full-grown men simply cannot walk into a room and shake each other's hands, relying instead on elaborate dances, forced pop culture references, and extended fake fighting. Neither Welter nor Seflin was available for comment as they were busy pretending to rip each other's faces off. Free Talk Live, launching into the second hour here, taking your calls about whatever's on your mind. Still to come here tonight, Detroit some Detroit news. We haven't done Detroit news in a few weeks here on Free Talk Live. It's kind of fascinating to watch a city crumble with the government not being able to collect taxes from a lot of properties and uh, people just exiting left and right from the city, hundreds of thousands having left over the last few decades. Uh, Farms Detroit. popping up in abandoned in neighborhoods that are almost denuded of people. You'll have a, a family with just a bunch of empty houses around, and they got and they yep. they got a farm growing in their backyard in Detroit. Fascinating stuff. We'll tell you what's going on with their parking meters in Detroit here in a little bit when we get a chance. Also, Scotland may be voting to secede uh, from the UK, and we'll uh, give you more details on all of that if we get a chance. But we're going to go to your phone calls here at eight fifty five four fifty free. That's eight five five four five zero three seven three three. 
And let's jump right back into those calls. We've got uh, Victor on the line in Tennessee. Victor, you're on Free Talk Live. Oh, hey, guys. This is the second time that I've uh, given you a call. Uh, I should uh, listen to your show more often. I do enjoy uh, the way that you uh, do things. But uh, I am going to say one thing, you know, and just any advice to any people out there. You know, uh, me and my wife agreed to be in love. 19 years ago, and we did not ask the state for a license to do it. Good for you. Uh, you know, uh, I, I agree to drive my truck, my RV, my minivan, and other vehicles in with, uh, you know, common sense and, uh, of course, for respect for other people. But I do not have a license. Can't, can't do it. Wow. How many years I have you been uh, driving a without a license? Helicopter, though. What? Which is dumb. What about yeah, a helicopter? They, they I'm sorry, I missed that fly, fly a helicopter. You do not need a license is what you're saying to fly a helicopter? I think he said he did get a license to fly a helicopter. Yeah, oh, I yeah. You know, I, I actually went through the government procedure mm -hmm. to get a license to fly a helicopter because I wanted to fly one so bad. Yeah. You know, I just wanted to do it. It was, it was you know, something I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, now I don't need one anymore because... Because you know, I can always fly a helicopter. Okay, so I'd like to know a little bit I mean, more about you, uh, Victor. I'd like to know a little bit more about you driving with no license. How many years have you been doing this? I uh, will be uh, fifty in another month. I've been doing it for uh, twenty-seven years. How many times have you been pulled over, arrested, and thrown in a jail cell for it? I have been uh, uh, pulled over and arrested for driving without a license uh, three times. Mm -hmm. uh, one time I spent 30 days in a King County jail up in uh, Seattle, Washington, uh, which was a, a you know bad experience. But you know, for the most part, you know, you spend the day, you get out, and uh, and that's been my experience. So, and I I have had paid the cost for this. I mean, but. Uh, you know, I mean, a part of the revolution needs to be people who just need to understand what their rights are. I mean, uh, we do not need to be uh, uh, taken over by a, a bunch of people that just uh, want to uh, make you a slave and say, hey, look, you have to have a license to what? Get married to be in love? Does that make any sense? No, it's it's outrageous, no. and I, I'm with you, and I support the freedom of travel activists. I've done a little bit of it myself, um, like, for instance, driving around in, in a cruiser uh, that has Shire plates on it. I've, I've done that, uh, private plates, essentially, not state plates. But I haven't done the whole driving without a license thing yet. I haven't gone that. Uh, I haven't gone that far. Um, now, would you say it was worth it? I mean, you've been at you know twenty some years. You've been doing this with no license. You spent about a month of your life in jail. Uh, I mean, would you say that overall you're you're happy with the results? Well, yeah, you know, uh, yeah, absolutely. Because it's it's not about uh, it's it's being about it, it's about looking in the mirror and being able to say that you can face yourself with. Uh, uh, I mean, we need to get more balls out there <laughs> and just be like, hey, look, uh, uh, natural law is more important than uh, uh, color of law. How many times have you had your car stolen from you by armed men uh, calling themselves the police on the side of the road? So not necessarily you've gone to jail, but they've just taken your car. Well, I've I've been pulled over three times in my life, and my car was taken three times. Mm -hmm. uh, one time I was not in a financial uh, position to be able to retrieve it. It just was stolen by the tow company. Uh, the other two times I was able to get it back. And, uh, you know, in all of these situations, you went to jail, you went to court. What happened in court? I mean, can you summarize the your three experiences? Yeah, well, uh, the one time when I was put in jail in uh, King County in Seattle, Washington, and the jails were overcrowded there, uh, granted, I mean, totally overcrowded, full of, uh, you know, people. I mean, who even knows why they're in there? It's just, it was totally overcrowded. Mm -hmm. But... Uh, uh, when I spent 30 days, 
And when I finally got before the judge, uh, he gave me credit for time served. It was a hundred dollar fine for not having a license. Yeah. Wow. And then I went and got my. No, that I lost my car. That's that's when I lost my car. I mean, you know, I figure I you're in jail for thirty days. You can't exactly get to pay the uh, the impound fee. So, what about the other two cases? Uh, I mean, were you ever ordered to get a license by a judge? I mean, what, how does this pan out? Yeah, right. Well, no, uh, the the thing about uh, most of these laws on the books, it's like, uh, can you be ordered? I mean, seriously, my wife and I have been together for 19 years, and, you know, we decided that we were in love. So, uh, am I really going to go to the state and get a... Uh, permission to be in love, I mean, uh, and pay a fee and maybe even have a blood test or maybe even have all, uh, I mean, it doesn't make sense. No, it doesn't. And so, I don't imagine that means, uh, you know, just because you have a piece of paper that you somehow love her even more. I, I totally, you know, I totally agree with you that people should well, avoid well, getting... Like, uh, uh, here, here in Chattanooga, uh, where I live, uh, I've got 10 cats, and, you know, that sounds a little crazy, maybe, and maybe <laughs> I'm a little crazy. But uh, I have 10 cats, but the, uh, the city of Chattanooga requires that they all have licenses. A mm-hmm. license to be a cat? It's ridiculous. They do uh, I mean, dog really, licenses here in they're Keene. They're already cats. I'm with you, Victor, and I agree with you that more people should have some cojones and stand up for what they believe in and put their money and their rights where their their mouth is. And I, th- I think that's part of the reason why the Free State Project is a good idea, because the reality is there just aren't enough people like you out there, people who are willing to actually take a risk to actually you know stand on their freedoms. I think we got to get people like that together in the same geographic area so we can support one another. Because I want to be there to record a, a trial, a video of a trial of somebody like you who's got the courage to stand up like that. And maybe if you know we get people together, that courage will spread. It'll infect to other people when people can see see the success stories or at least see what the consequences really are. And I thank you for the call and sharing your experience tonight. I love the, these guys that uh, you know drive with with no license and are, are doing it safely and. You know, they're not putting anybody at risk. They're just not begging, you know, they're not begging for permission to live their lives. I, I find that heroic. Yeah, it's, it's, it, I agree 100%, Ian. It reminds me of Lauren Canario and, and, and what she was doing to inspire you to come up here. Well, she did some freedom to travel activism too, but they just beat you down. If you're doing it alone, and that's why this guy is amazing that he's been doing it for so many years. Uh, Lauren did, I think, uh, no registered vehicle. I don't know if she didn't have a license. I'm not sure about that detail, but I know that her vehicle was unregistered. And they went after her, and they just put so much pressure on her that she ended up cracking. And I don't blame her for it, because you either want to drive or you don't. And if you want to drive enough, and they're threatening you enough, you're going to jump through their damn hoops, just like I did recently, where I was under threat of arrest if I didn't go and get their government license. I made it for six-plus years here in New Hampshire without getting the New Hampshire license. I had my old Florida license for that time, and I'd even renewed the Florida license within that time. And they finally came after me, and they threatened me, and they told me that I would be arrested any time I was caught behind uh, the wheel of a car. Major motor vehicle violations, uh, repeat offender could put me in, in jail for over a year. It's Free Talk Live. What do you do? The following is an important free offer for smokers only. The makers of Victor, the world's most advanced e-cigarette, have just authorized the release of free starter kits to all smokers who call in the next 10 minutes. Valued at $99, these Victor starter kits are available for free, but only while supplies last. To guarantee your free kit, call in the next 10 minutes, 1-800-564-6941. The revolutionary Victor design creates only water vapor. There is no foul-smelling smoke and no unhealthy tar. This allows individuals to enjoy the nicotine they love without restriction, no matter where they are. The financial advantages over cigarettes are considerable as well. It is estimated that the average smoker can save hundreds of dollars a month with Victor. Again, free Victor starter kits are now available to any smoker who calls in the next 10 minutes. This is a radio-only offer not available in stores, so call now for your free kit. 1-800-564-6941. 1-800-564-6941. 1-800-564-6941. This is Mark of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the economic engine that powers our country. With a printing press tethered to Washington bureaucrats and New York central bankers, how can we trust paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold. 
or go to gold.freetalklive.com. Again, 877-357-9938. 877-357-9938. Farmers keep livestock lean and healthy with a mineral-rich diet. Then, before market, they cut off minerals, leaving them to crave high-calorie grains. If weight control is this easy, why prescribe surgery for humans? Introducing Longevity. You could avoid 900 diseases by getting 90 essential nutrients from Longevity. Check out 90 for Life at tobeyoungagain.com or call 855-79-YOUNG. That's 855-79-YOUNG or tobeyoungagain.com. Longevity. It's all about saving money, getting healthy, and creating wealth. Since time began, tyrants have taken aim at personal liberties. Now there's a movie that aims back. The government has no more right to tell us what to put in our bodies than they have to take our guns or tell us what books we can read. Six drug police were eaten by bears while raiding a marijuana farm. On your knees, you dirty hippies! Jesus. On your knees! What's the problem, officer? Today, many cops who enforce pot laws do so only because it provides them with cushy jobs, good benefits, and a chance to push people around. I was an undercover narcotics officer. The drug war is nothing but a farce. The Second Amendment says you gotta keep you and your gat intact. Guns and Weed, The Road to Freedom. A film by Michael W. Dean and Nima Vidati. DVD available now at GunsAndWeed.com or on Amazon. That's GunsAndWeed.com. Makes the perfect gift. Remember, that's GunsAndWeed.com. Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats, the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's post pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click get notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook.freetalklive.com. MindThings.com is a fun online game that pits you against people around the world to mine for scarce resources. Do business in a capitalist economy with virtually mined gold, tax-free. It doesn't require a big-time commitment. Your little mining robot guy works whether you're logged in or not. It costs nothing to play, but you can buy bonuses. They even accept bitcoins. Go to MindThings.com, use coupon code FTL, and double your mining speed. It's free. MindThings.com. While our satellite channel is free to listen to, it's not free for us. You can help us cover our satellite costs with the chip-in on the right side of the page at lrn.fm. Free Talk Live, bring up what you want. You're toll free at 855 453. That's 855 450 3733. Of course, you can join us online. Just go to freetalklive.com and enjoy the features that you will find there. Coming up, the Detroit parking situation. You think parking's bad where you live? Uh, well, you can compare and contrast and find out how it is in Detroit. We'll uh, get into some of those details here when we get a chance. But your phone calls come first. Our toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. Coffee.freetalklive.com is where you can go to get a free pound of the best of the best coffee. It's called BuzzBox. Shade-grown, 100% organic Top 1% grade Arabica. This is great coffee, but you can get great coffee from a variety of different places. So what makes BuzzBox special? Well, it's their co-op. They're allowing people around the world in third world countries to buy into their co-op uh, with micro loans. by the way. They're doing micro loans through World Vision. So what we're trying to do is help people make a better life for themselves through BuzzBox Coffee. You can go to coffee.freetalklive.com, get your free pound. You get signed up for an auto ship program that you can actually adjust your frequency. So, you know, if you're a heavy drinker, you can make the frequency more often. If you're a lighter drinker, you can make the delivery less often of your favorite kind of coffee from coffee.freetalklive.com. But you get first pound free. You can cancel the subscription at any time. You do have to pay the shipping cost on that free pound, but otherwise you don't pay any cost for the coffee itself. 
and you can help change people's lives. If we can get a thousand Free Talk Live listeners to order coffee from coffee.freetalklive.com, that will allow us and Buzzbox to finance 100 micro loans through World Vision. So you can drink great coffee and help people make a better life. Coffee.freetalklive.com. I'm drinking a delicious cup of Buzzbox coffee right now. You got a big old cup of it over there, too. Yeah. All right, so uh, our toll-free number, 855-453. Back to your phone calls and thoughts. Andrew is in Arizona. You're on Free Talk Live. Andrew. Hey, guys. Hey. I uh, first want to start off by saying I'm a, a little bit of a history nut. All right. uh, more specifically, I really like to find history, you know, events that repeat themselves throughout history. Uh, more specifically, Hitler posts. Uh, pre-World War II, and the United States government, Bush administration, um, post-9-11, and how those events were, in my opinion, extremely similar. Tell me more. And, okay, so let me kind of backtrack a little bit. Um, in 1933, Germany, Hitler staged an attack along with the Gestapo, and they burned down the Reichstag building. In yeah. Germany, which is a parliament building. Before then, Germany was a primarily democratic country. And after that, they, Hitler used um, that attack to essentially fear everyone into thinking that he needed more power. He became the emperor and then the dictator of Germany, and hence allowed World War II to happen and the mass slaughtering of millions of people. Post 9-11, George Bush declared that we needed to invade Iraq because it was, you know, that's where the terrorists were and everything. He also passed a bunch of unconstitutional laws that otherwise would not have been able to have been passed if it weren't for 9-11. And I just thought that was a pretty cool, interesting conclusion that I had drawn, and I wanted to share that with you guys because... Last time I called in, well, a few times back I called in, and it was um, on 9-11, and you guys had said that, um, what does it matter, you know? What does it matter if the government was involved, if they knew, if they helped orchestrate it? And if the people of Germany had known that the Reichstag fire was started by the Gestapo rather than a communist, Jewish, mentally challenged boy— I feel like things really would have gone a lot differently. Well, certainly if uh, – and by the way, I, I agree with your assessment. There are certainly some similarities uh, between those situations. Um, but my point about the 9-11 conspiracy mongering is that you can't easily prove the claim, right? So uh, it would be one thing if the people of Germany – you know, if it was obvious – that th this was what happened, that it was a setup that they had staged this whole thing. And it'd be the same thing if there were some real damning evidence that was undeniable about 9-11. There are a lot of interesting questions, you know, what about Building 7? Mm -hmm. now, there's all kinds of questions, but there are lots of theories surrounding these questions, no real concrete answers one side makes one claim, another side makes another claim. Many claims have been uh, completely debunked over time. There's, uh, you know, there's this movie called Loose Change that a lot of people were talking about for a long time, and there's a great website online that debunks a lot of the claims about Loose Change. And from what I've heard, there's another site that debunks the debunking site. And so my point being that you can just get lost in this world of theory and theorizing about 9/11. And why bother? Uh, and the reason I ask why bother is because right now, today, you have things happening. Like we talked talked about the front of the show. They stopped traffic, 12 lanes of traffic outside of D.C. last week to look for some bank robbers. And they did car-to-car uh, -car searches at gunpoint of people. I don't have to speculate about that. I don't have to speculate about some sort of theory or did it happen or didn't it happen or who was really behind it. All I have to do is show the video and show the pictures and give people's you know stories and their experiences from what it was like. There's no denying that that happened and what it was. Whereas with the 9/11 thing, if you have a certain theory, then you have to present all these, you know, you have to present the theory, you have to present the evidence that you believe backs your theory, you then have to refute the 
the refutations of the evidence, and it just goes on and on and on. And here we are, you know, over a decade later, and no real solid answers have been provided. It doesn't mean that I believe the government's story. But it also doesn't mean I believe the conspiracies out there. And there are a variety of them. Everything from, you know, the Bush administration was behind it to they were alien ships. So, you know, you take your pick. Ultimately, my goal is to help spread the ideas of liberty. And there are plenty of stories in the news today and tomorrow uh, that will show that the government people are tyrants and they hurt innocent people and they lie and they steal, and they mismanage, and they are just generally awful. And I have no problem showing that, and I don't have to go and dig around through uh, you know, history and try to make some sort of obscure case about an event that happened back you know, tw- uh, 12 years ago or 13 years ago at this point. But Johnny Ray, I'm wondering what you think about the whole 9-11 uh, conspiracy situation. I think that Americans have, just like you said, they've got a wealth of evidence to show that the bureaucrats and the agents of the state are not certainly no better than the -the run-of-the-mill citizen in the U.S. They've got all the evidence they need to see that the state is a failure. It's a joke, and it only hurts us. And So so a conspiracy about 9-11 and them perpetrating that I, no, I don't think you need that. It muddies the waters, in my opinion. Andrew, thanks for sharing your thoughts tonight. Appreciate it. 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. You can take control here. Bring up what you want. Detroit Parking. We'll tell you about their situation coming up. That's the sound of your door being kicked in by an intruder with a single kick. Criminals know that your doors are weak and your alarm system can't keep them out. That's the sound of the same door, now protected by the Door Sentinel. Standard locks, deadbolts, and alarm systems can't prevent forced entry. Harden your door and door jam with the Door Sentinel. Go to MySafeDoor.com. That's MySafeDoor.com and enter coupon code SAFE for 15% off of your order. The Door Sentinel, your home's first line of defense. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. If you'd like to listen to GCN programs on the go, I have great news. GCN has created a Droid and iPhone application, and it's free. Just as easy as going to GCNlive.com, click on the banner, and download. Before you know it, you'll be listening to your favorite hard-hitting GCN shows, live or on demand, right on your Droid or iPhone, 24-7 and on the go. So download the Droid and iPhone app free by clicking on the banner at GCNlive.com. Thanks again for listening to GCNlive.com. Again, that's GCNlive.com. Why did you move to the Shire? I moved here to the Shire because there's other people around who take liberty just as seriously as I do. I moved to the Shire because I saw videos of people challenging authority and thought that I could get support myself. It called to me, like, do this right now. I wanted to be around people like me who got it. And once I got here, I knew there was nowhere else that I wanted to be. Immigrating to the Shire was easy. I was instantly plugged into a community of individuals who also care about peace, liberty, and justice and are willing to do something about it. The people here are awesome, loving, and positive. It was for the adventure and for the feeling of something important is happening here, and I just wanted to come to sort of be part of that. Visit ShireSociety.com to read and sign the Shire Society Declaration and learn the reasons why, if you love liberty, you should immigrate to the Shire. Plus, add yourself to the Shire map at ShireSociety.com. That's ShireSociety.com. Shiny badges on your jacket. Shiny badges start a conversation with your neighbor or your doctor or your family or your school. Now there's teachers and lawyers and business executives and they all wear shiny badges and they all reject the state. Shiny badges on your jacket. Shiny badges show the world that you reject coercion and aggression and oppression by the state. Shinybadges.com So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at LRN.FM? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet, around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at LRN.FM. That's LRN.FM.
I've been told no in many different ways. I give you an order and you're going to obey it. Who told you can go this way? You can do that and you have to leave here. You cannot bring Simon to the rally. Walk with me. Well, I'm, I'm, no, walk I'm with comfortable me. here, actually. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, 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 hey. hey. Who do you think you Excuse are? me. There is no video or audio allowed in this office. No, I have work today. This is you ain't going to make. Wait on the Now, wait a minute. Hey! Oh my God! Unbelievable! Why are you running from me? Because you're scared me. What am I being detained for? You're being served. What is this? What is this? Bureaucrats have a funny way of telling people no. That's the sound of the men working on the chain. Derek J's victimless crime spree. Watch it for free and order the director's cut DVD at victimlesscrimespree.com. Do you love Twitter? Make sure you favorite the LRN.FM Twitter account so you can receive our tweets at twitter.lrn.fm. That's twitter.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live, bring up anything right here, toll-free, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733, and we've got a website. You can go there and get all kinds of stuff for free, including our uh, mobile site. If you want quick access to our live streams, just go to M as in mobile dot freetalklive.com to get access to our broadband, midband, and narrowband stream. So different bit rates for different internet connection speeds. Maybe you're in a not so hot area for uh, speed, you can connect to the narrowband stream. It won't sound so great, but it might just stay connected. If you've got broadband, go with the broadband stream. Uh, M as in mobile dot freetalklive.com. I said earlier that we're going to tell you how to get bitcoins. Maybe you have taken the first step into the world of bitcoins. You've gotten a bitcoin wallet for instance, from blockchain.info, and you're ready to load that wallet up with Bitcoins, or maybe you can afford a fraction of a Bitcoin. You don't have to buy a whole Bitcoin to get started in Bitcoin, because one Bitcoin is currently over 600 US dollars. So maybe you want to get a, a, a quarter of a Bitcoin or an eighth of a Bitcoin. You can do all those things. Uh, you can go to cashintocoins.com. They make it easy, safe, fast, legal, and inexpensive. And customer service is their top priority at cashintocoins.com. You can use a money order, check, or a wire transfer, and their rates are great as well. In fact, you can buy less than $40 worth of Bitcoin at cashintocoins.com, and you will pay no fee. And when you do have a fee, if you're buying more than $40 worth, you can actually donate a portion of your fee to charity cashintocoins.com. Again, cashintocoins.com. We continue with your calls and thoughts. Uh, let's go to Jacob, listening in Ohio via TuneIn. Hey, Jacob. Hey, what's up, guys? What's on your mind tonight? Uh, I just wanted to plug a little something for my uh, website. Uh, I uh, help run OhioCopBlock.org. Uh, mm -hmm. We're going to have uh, Pete coming around March 28th in Cleveland. That's Pete Ayer. He's one of the founders of CopBlock.org. Great guy and uh, lives in uh, yeah, Keene sort of part it. of the year. And uh, hopefully he'll be coming. I heard he's coming back up this way. I guess he's making a pit stop there in, in Cleveland, you say? Yeah, March 28th. Uh, I really can't access the Internet, so I don't know much information. I'm banned from it for the next two years. So <laughs> I just got this. How are you banned? From, from, hold on. How are you banned from the Internet but yet listening on a, uh, the TuneIn app? Uh, I'm banned from computers, not internet. So I'm listening in and out of my phone. Oh, so they and don't count the smartphone as uh, as a computer? No, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, funny. That's great. Uh, no, I mean it's not great that you're banned you're like, from the you internet. Got a nice, you got a nice smartphone. No, I'm just banned from computers. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. And that that stems yeah. back to a longer story, which we probably don't have time to get into. Yeah, you, but, yeah, uh, we don't have time to get into that tonight. But yeah, you, but basically, you, you got you screwed over. Uh, you, you got screwed over by the state because of uh, a purchase of some chemicals, research chemicals online, and it was an awful from, situation. Yeah, for my business, and it, it was a wrong chemical, and a lot of things happened. And they, the federal boys dropped it because there was a custody break, but then they wanted to indict a bunch of my friends, so I took a plea deal, something that I kind of mm. regret now. Oh man, but. 
And I had to serve six months, but it was worth it because, you know. Were you in, uh, uh, what, where, where were you serving the time? Was it a minimum security, maximum? What was the? You no, know, it, it was called a CBCF. It's for, like, people that are, like, younger. They're meant for, like, that have drug dependence or criminal thinking errors. And I, I tell my probation officer every day or every time we talk, I'm like, I did not commit a crime. I didn't hurt anybody. Mm-hmm. And she's like, I understand you're not going to change your beliefs, and we're not trying to. And I almost even got kicked out of the prison because they thought a cop block was a gang. That's a whole different story. They thought cop block was a gang? Yeah, they put me in the <laughs> hole, and my case manager had to get a, a lawyer, and they had to t- they had to pro- I had to promise not to work in the kitchen, make any bombs, or do any of those things. I'm like, <laughs> I promise you guys, I would never hurt a fly. I believe in the non-aggression principle. When I explain it to the guy, he's like, well, you're still in a gang. People Were, were they right afraid now, you were going to get a knife in the kitchen or something like that? No, no, they thought I was going to make a bomb in the kitchen. <laughs> So copblock.org, great chemicals. website. Uh, I'm, I'm yeah, a huge supporter yeah. of copblock. I've been on board from yeah. from the beginning. And so you are behind Ohio. Was it OhioCopBlock.org, was it? Yeah, I'm the founder of Ohio Cop Block, but I really can't do anything there. I have someone that speaks for me and writes for me. Hmm. Like I like write the letter or I write a draft up and I send it to them and I publish it under my name. Hmm. So I kind of got around that so I can so nice. voice my opinion on things and stuff. How are things going yeah, there in Ohio? I know that uh, we've got one of your former cop blockers there, uh, Eric Freerock. He's, oh, the, Eric? Host, he's the host yeah, of the cop uh, block we, radio show and he's moved here to New Hampshire now. We miss him. Actually, yeah, you uh, hung out with one of my mentors, Keen, for one of your social Sundays. You know, Keen, remember him? Or, uh, Kane. Kane, yeah, yeah. He came and his up. wife. Yep. Yeah, that's one of my mentors. He's the one that taught me about the non aggression principle and to me and to you guys. So how many people are involved so, there in, in Ohio Cop Lock? Because I've heard there there's just not uh, that many. Uh, uh well, like we have like the Bellevue version or the Sandusky, we have about ten, fifteen active members. But down in Cleveland they have a good ten members. That's so we got about twenty five people total coming. Yeah, it isn't bad for how small of a town we live in. Because Keen's the size of Sandusky, and that's where we do most of our filming. We usually get at least 10, 15 people when we do go filming. But it's cold right now, and a lot of people don't like going yeah, out. Yeah, it's hard to get people out in the we cold. Got, that's we, certainly true. Well, but we hopefully people will come out for the, the Pete Air event. Forward. Jacob, yeah. uh, when, was the, yeah, when, when, was, uh, when was the event again? It's Friday, March 28th. I'm not sure on the time, but just Google Ohio Cop Block, and I'm sure my friend Dio, who's running the page, has posted all about it on Cop Block or Ohio Cop Block. Very cool. You so, still have a plan to uh, to get up to New Hampshire someday? Uh, as soon as I'm off probation, guys, I'm saving up. <laughs> How many years? How many years on probation? Do they give you? Uh, well, actually, I've been uh, a good little boy to the government babysitter, and uh, I should be off within the next six months or so. Oh, so wow. maybe within the next nine months. Cool, man. That sounds exciting, and thanks for the call tonight. Good luck there in Ohio. Appreciate the update. Uh, Cop Lock's getting uh, affiliates all across the country. It's Really, probably one of the most popular liberty-oriented sort of websites, and I think that it's a great uh, outreach tool because it brings people into the liberty movement from their frustration with the police. So a lot of the people involved in cop block right up front may not really understand the ideas of liberty. They just might be angry at something that the police have done. And then they're introduced to people like Pete and Ademo, the founders of Cop Block, and they, you know, get to read some of the uh, the editorials and the the posts that are being made on CopBlock.org, which inevitably are being written by people who not only understand police abuse but also understand the ideas of liberty. So you can mix those ideas together and really help bring people to the ideas of freedom. It's fantastic, and Cop Block is one of these one of these opportunities for someone who sees. <sighs> who sees the state growing and is upset about it and doesn't know what to do you can you can get out with a with a camera document mm-hmm. what the police are doing there's no there's no evil there you're not committing any evil by by recording uh daily life and what what's happening and then you know you can go from there but if you're if you're worried about the, the civilization and and where the world's going then you should try to do something that's you know I, I I moved to New Hampshire Ian and I'm certainly certainly not one of the more active people up here but I'm still happy with myself and I and and like Victor was talking about looking himself in the mirror I have no problem doing that 
because I because I tried to do something. I changed my life in in some in some way to try and make the world a better place. And it's been a good thing. It's been a good experience. I've enjoyed uh, you know meeting you and um, and you so know. many others, so many great people here, and and over fifteen hundred people here now as part of the Free State Project. We'll tell you more about that coming up here in a little bit. Of course, you can take control of the airwaves eight fifty five. 450 free. That's 855-450-3733. I think the Cop Block page on Facebook's blown through 200,000 likes. Wow. It's really been on a, an upswing in popularity, and, and that's because they're putting out good content and they're doing good work. There's some people who will quibble over the name that, uh, you know, the name of Cop Block is conflict-oriented, and, eh, you know, I might agree with that, but it is what it is. The They do a great job at what they do, and they're very, very popular in bringing people to the ideas of freedom, so that's a win. And they're also bringing people to the idea of knowing their rights, which is another important uh, outreach project. More coming up. It's Free Talk Live. Everybody wants to know, what can you buy with bitcoins? Isn't there like a Bitcoin general store or something? Well, yes, now there is, and it's at BitcoinGeneralStore.com. BitBrew and the Bees Brothers have teamed up to create a place where U.S. customers in the lower 48 can shop for, well, anything, with free shipping. What can you find at BitcoinGeneralStore.com? Bitcoin apparel, stickers, gifts, precious metals, physical bitcoins, coffee and honey, of course, and electronics and computer accessories. The folks at Bitcoin General Store are true Bitcoin believers who don't even use third-party payment processors. They get their inventory direct with Bitcoin and pass on the savings to you. Shop at BitcoinGeneralStore.com with confidence that you are supporting a real Bitcoin economy. you got to see what they have to offer. Visit BitcoinGeneralStore.com today. That's BitcoinGeneralStore.com. You've been lied to. Lied to by corrupt Washington politicians and the Wall Street propaganda machine. My name is Brett Kitchen, and I want to give you a free copy of my Inc. Magazine best-selling book, Safe Money Millionaire, because Wall Street's 401k and other investment plans have failed millions of Americans. After losing 35% in my IRA in the crash several years ago, I said enough. Since then, I've discovered an IRS-approved way to safely grow my money up to 12 to even 17%, cut taxes dramatically, but also have my money protected when the next crash comes. Call now to talk with a specialist to discover this little-known strategy to potentially build a million-dollar tax-free retirement income, get potential 12 to 17% returns, and never lose when the next crash hits. Call 888-885-8820 and discover this tool that people like Walt Disney and J.C. Penney used to safely grow rich. Plus, get one of just 97 free books left. We even cover shipping and handling. Call 888-885-8820. 888-885-8820. Again, that's 888-885-8820. If you're looking for work, the person you are applying to is probably so swamped with applicants that he or she is tough to reach. So call early in the day, before 8 a.m., before the palace guards arrive. You'll need your prospect's direct number, and here's a sneaky way to get it. Suppose the company's main number is 555-5000. You should call 555 501 Two. When someone says, good morning, Pam Johnson, you should innocently say, oops, somebody here must have written this down wrong. I was calling for Tom Frederick. What's his direct number? If the very next thing you hear isn't Pam giving you Tom's number, it may be, good morning, Tom Frederick. For more tips for job seekers and getting better results in all your day-to-day -day communication, hit survivalspeech.com. I'm Holland Cook. Free Talk Live has partnered with Amazon, the largest internet retailer. Imagine a department store category, and Amazon has it. Books, electronics, office products, furniture, jewelry, automotive, toys, clothing, sporting goods, and dozens of other categories. Now you can shop and support Free Talk Live by entering Amazon through our website. Go to shop.freetalklive.com, and Amazon will send us a portion of your purchase. You're going to do the shopping anyway, so remember to enter through our site at shop.freetalklive.com. That's shop.freetalklive.com. Did you know coffee is the second most absorbent crop on Earth? Most coffee at grocery stores or in chains contains banned pesticides and has a high mold content. Seriously, we're proud to partner with Comano Island Coffee Roasters to provide the best of the best coffee, BuzzBox Coffee. Try a free pound today. You cover shipping. 10% of future purchases benefit our efforts to give the gift of human freedom throughout the world. 
at least 100 World Vision microfinance loans. For more information, go to coffee.freetalklive.com. Listen to LRN.FM on any phone, anytime. 213-493-0309. That's 213-493-0309. Free Talk Live, bring up anything toll-free here. 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. With you tonight, it's Ian here. And Johnny Ray. Join us online. Go to freetalklive.com. And enjoy the features there. The webcam is available to you. Cam.freetalklive.com will take you there. The uh, chat room is built into the same page as the cam. And yes, you will find trolls in the Free Talk Live chat room. Somebody was just asking on the Free Talk Live amplifiers group on Facebook if trolls are always in the chat room. I can't say they're always there, but uh, they probably are. Because it's a chat room and it's the internet. So that's how it is. You don't have to chat, though, to enjoy the cam. You can just go to cam.freetalklive.com. Turn it on, watch, and listen at your leisure. It's free, unlike those other talk show hosts who charge you for access to their site features like that. Cam.freetalklive.com. Now, I mentioned the uh, Free Talk Live Amplifier Facebook group. This is a brand new perk. We have a certain amount of perks that you get as a Free Talk Live Amplifier, and this is the newest one, and I'm pretty excited about it because people are actually using it. Yeah, you still have access to the Amp Only Forum, which nobody... Nobody goes on the BBS anymore. There, there aren't really that many posts. I mean, there are some people still there. I should give those people credit for being so fastidious and, and you know, continuing on in the uh, the forum world with Facebook out there, kind of just basically siphoning off all the forum activity on the internet. Uh huh. So we've gone ahead and created a Facebook group just for Free Talk Live amplifiers. And uh, it's working out very well. There are over 200 Free Talk Live amplifiers, and former amplifiers are also welcome in the uh, the amp group. So everybody who's ever been an amplifier was given an invitation uh, to this new group. And there's all kinds of discussions in there. Some of it's just, you know, issues based some of it is about the show and you know what are we doing with the amp money and how can we spend it and you know what is what's the new adwords program all about and that's what we're uh, fundraising for right now with amp amp stands for advertise market and promote the idea is you send five bucks a month into free talk live and we get on more radio stations and bring new internet listeners to the ideas of freedom and every now and then we'll get a nice note from somebody who has something nice to say about Free Talk Live. In fact, uh, James, who's helping us do fundraising for Free Talk Live, posted one of uh, those notes in the AMP forum, and I'm going to share that with you. I always mean to send you guys an email telling you how much I appreciate your show. I've been listening for about five years, and it helped me dump a lot of the conservative BS I was touting at the time. I was a strong proponent of liberty as a teenager, but became a father and sole breadwinner for my new family when I was 18. For some reason, my new responsibilities combined with talk radio, to which I listen because music stations are too repetitive, led me to thinking that I was a conservative. Your show helped uh, bring me back home. And I actually explained some of the practicality of what I always felt, or that the show explained that practicality. Once I found the Sunday show, I haven't missed one since. Stephanie was able to help me understand all that crap the liberals had been saying all along about the racism that is built into the system and real socioeconomic problems in a way that spoke to my compassion rather than my cynicism. I guess what I'm trying to say, and feel free to share it with everyone, is you guys have changed my life for the better. And for that, I'm very thankful. And thank you uh, for that note, whoever you are. It's not It's actually not actually signed, but it was sent along. It's very, very nice. Um, it's nice when people feel like Free Talk Live has made a difference in their lives. And that's great. That's one of the reasons why we do the show, is to help people discover the ideas of liberty, better understand them, and apply them in their lives. And if we're doing that, then we're doing our jobs, and hopefully we're entertaining at the same time, so more people will want to tune in and listen to the show. Obviously, it's not right for everybody, but if you like what we're doing here on Free Talk Live and you want more people to come across the ideas of liberty, then please become a Free Talk Live amplifier. Right now, we have the matching fundraiser going on. We've raised around $750, $800 for this matching fundraiser per month. And so we've got generous 
contributors that are matching those numbers. But we can get up to $950 per month matched. So in order to close the gap to the end of that $950 goal, we're uh, changing our gears. So what we had been doing was raising money to pay Daryl to do affiliate relations for the show. That's funded. We've That's been a success. He's helping out. He's doing a great job. He's here every morning at 9 a.m. sharp making phone calls to radio stations. We've, we've succeeded at that. So to close the gap to the full $950, we are focusing on Google AdWords to start advertising on Google again to bring new listeners into Free Talk Live. We're currently doing the advertising, but want to raise some more money to to help fund that. So you can become a Free Talk Live amplifier right now over at amp.freetalklive.com. You can use any major credit card through PayPal, use Visa or MasterCard right there on our website, and your contribution, whether it's 5 bucks a month, 10 bucks a month, 25 whatever you want to give to us, uh, we'll put it to good use. We'll bring new listeners in. In fact, uh, Google AdWords, you do the bidding process. So what you do is you, you bid what you think a, a click is worth. So Google, uh, you know, you put in keywords that you want people to find your product when they search for those keywords. So like talk radio, for instance, uh, or internet talk radio. Put in keywords like this, you're going to see free talk live advertising, hopefully, and click on it. If people click on it, then we pay Google for that click. And so we have to tell Google what we think a click is worth. Currently, we're willing to pay up to 50 cents for a click. The average of what we actually end up paying is around $0.33, $0.34 cents, uh, per click. And so we can raise that amount. And if we raise the amount we're willing to pay, we'll raise our position on the list of advertising. So we're like usually at around second to third place, like closer to third place on average. Uh-huh. So if we are willing to bid more, then we can get a higher position. Or if we pay more per day, we can get more impressions. So there's different things that we can kind of tweak with this campaign if we can get some more money in to help with that. So please become a Free Talk Live amplifier at amp.freetalklive.com. I just had an idea, Ian, please. where we could we could uh, tweak what Daryl's doing. We can get If we can raise a little more money, we could hire me to come in at 915 sharp and uh, stare at Daryl over my clipboard <laughs> and complain about his productivity. <laughs> you could be a manager. Yeah. We'll work on that, Johnny Ray. Okay. 855-450-FREE. That's the toll-free number here. And you can join us online, of course. We've got Skype. Our Skype username is lrn.fm. Still to come here tonight, Detroit is looking at raising their parking rates, something that we're seeing happen here in Keene, New Hampshire, where the city council is considering raising rates uh, not only on what it costs to park in downtown Keene, but what the tickets would cost as well. They're talking about doubling the price of a ticket from 5 to $10 per ticket. They're talking about increasing, uh, right now it's I think it's 25 cents for a half an hour at some meters. They're talking about making it 25 cents for 20 minutes. So they're cutting back on the amount of time that you get. They're, they're raising rates. Uh, they're want, they want to raise rates across the board. It hasn't actually happened yet. It's a proposal right now. You're talking about here in Keene? Here in Keene. Yeah, yeah and, and aren't they also wanting to deny dimes and nickels and take quarters only? The theory, uh, the proposal is they want to have a minimum of 20 minutes, which would mean that you would have to put in either a quarter or two, two dimes and a nickel. Okay. So uh, whether that'll actually pan out remains to be seen. There's rumor that there may be a petition among downtown business owners to try to stop this. In fact, I actually went to Laconia the other day, which is another s- small city in New Hampshire. Up in the Lakes region? In the Lakes region. Very beautiful place. Uh, went to Laconia. We went to downtown Laconia. It was right before uh, the Amanda Billy Rock hearing in court and uh, went downtown and there wasn't a single parking meter anywhere to be found, Johnny Ray. And the city of Keene claims that parking meters are necessary in order to help business owners keep business flowing. The idea is that because the meters are there, that people are going to, you know, they're going to go, they're come in and do the business and they're going to leave and, uh, and leave another parking, parking spot available. for a new customer. But lo and behold, there's an entire downtown, which doesn't seem smaller. I mean, even though Laconia has a few less people than Keene, it's like 16,000 compared to say 23,000. The the downtown area seems about as large, and uh, not a single parking meter in sight, and plenty of businesses. Isn't that amazing? Apparently, you don't actually need parking meters to have uh, successful businesses in a downtown. Well, I can tell you that when I go downtown and I have to pay for parking, it it it's not something that that enters my mind. I don't. It doesn't get me in and out faster. So speaking personally, it doesn't work. A lot of uh, people could say that it actually is uh, a disincentive to shop downtown and that if you could go and shop at a big box store or some sort of uh, shopping center or mall, 
where there is more parking, a lot of people might choose to go there too. So maybe downtown businesses are losing out because of the existence of parking meters. Right. So here's a story from uh, Detroit. We we can get into more detail on it uh, in hour number three, which is coming up. But they are also looking at increasing their parking fines. Unfortunately, in Detroit, they've got a problem where about half of the parking meters in the city are not operating properly at any given time. And if you recall correctly uh, from a few weeks back, several months actually, I think at this point, there was a news story about Detroit about their lights, the street lights. It was about 40% of the street lights are completely broken. They've either been you know, smashed or shot or something like that, or they've just fallen into disrepair, and the city public works department hasn't done anything about it. So now we're learning that their parking meters are also in a similar level of disrepair. One out, Just about one out of two parking meters is not going to work in the city of Detroit. So we'll tell you more about what they plan on doing here in a little bit, and it's just fascinating to watch the city of Detroit just crumbling in on itself as the government continues to uh, steal as much money as they possibly can in the meantime. 855-450 free is the toll-free number tonight. Hour three's next. You take control on Free Talk Live. Meowbit is free software from the Freedom Fiends that allows you to effortlessly view .bit websites. Meowbit works on all browsers. .bit is a new type of web address that's not controlled by any government or corporation. And we'll show you how to register a .bit domain today using a few cents worth of name coin. If anyone ever shuts down your .com website, users will still be able to get to your site using your .bit address in our free software, Meowbit. Go to meowbit.com. That's M-E-O-W-B-I-T dot com. Hey, this is Guy Fieri. Now, when your recipe calls for red peppers, chili powder, garlic, and onions, you got the start of some awesome chili and maybe some heartburn. If that's the case, roll out the Rolaids liquid. Don't let heartburn keep you from enjoying the things you love. New Rolaids liquid gets you back in the action fast. Even when your worst heartburn symptoms flare up, Rolaids liquid dual active formula coats and soothes for rapid relief. New Rolaids liquid in your choice of mint or cherry. Use as directed. R-O-L-A-I-D-S. Now that's how you spell relief. Meowbit is free software from the Freedom Fiends that allows you to effortlessly view .bit websites. Meowbit works on all browsers. .bit is a new type of web address that's not controlled by any government or corporation. And we'll show you how to register a .bit domain today using a few cents worth of name coin. If anyone ever shuts down your .com website, users will still be able to get to your site using your .bit address in our free software, Meowbit. Go to meowbit.com. That's M-E-O-W-B-I-T dot com. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number three is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. Radio VR. Good morning and welcome to Radio VR. We're broadcasting live from Washington, D.C. and around the world on voiceofrussia.com slash U.S. I'm Kate Zickel. And I'm Rick Young. Today is Tuesday, March 18th, 2014. Radio VR News. A Navy warship that has been helping search for the missing Malaysian jetliner is dropping out of the hunt. Correspondent Ross Simpson tells us why. The Navy's 7th Fleet has determined that long-range naval aircraft are a more efficient means of looking for the plane or its debris now that the search area has broadened into the southern Indian Ocean. P-3 and P-8 surveillance aircraft remain involved in the search, but the USS Kidd, an Arleigh Burke-class destroyer that has been searching the waters of the Indian Ocean with its helicopters, will return to its normal duties. Ross Simpson, Washington. President Barack Obama is hosting a rare ceremony to present the nation's highest military honor to 24 veterans. National Security Correspondent Sagar Magani reports on why and who will receive the awards. 
The two dozen men will receive the Medal of Honor for service in World War II, Korea, and Vietnam after a congressionally mandated review to ensure the most eligible recipients had not been bypassed due to prejudice. Most of the 24 are of either Hispanic or Jewish heritage. Only three are still living, including Melvin Morris, who will be awarded the Medal of Honor for a courageous action in Vietnam. Morris is black and says it never occurred to him that his race might have prevented him from receiving the medal earlier. Sagar Megani, Washington. The White House says a milestone has been reached in getting people to enroll in health insurance plans under the Affordable Care Act. Correspondent Tim McGuire explains. More than 5 million. That's what the Obama administration says is the number of people who have signed up for the private health insurance under the new health care law. That still leaves a million needed to meet the already lowered goal of 6 million by the end of this month. That comes out to 70,000 people a day, a rate that analysts say will be a stretch to meet. While the deadline remains fixed, it's still not clear if the White House will grant a grace period to people who started but did not finish the enrollment process. Tim McGuire, Washington. Prosecutors are asking a federal judge to keep testimony from the mastermind of 9-11 out of the trial of Osama bin Laden's son-in-law. Correspondent Warren Levinson has the latest. As defense lawyers began their case on behalf of Suleiman Abu Ghaith, the one-time al-Qaeda spokesman, they filed a 14-page statement from Khalid Sheikh Mohammed in response to questions they sent him at Guantanamo Bay. They're asking the judge to allow them to call Mohammed as a witness. The prosecution wants all statements from the self-described 9-11 mastermind kept out of the trial. In the statement, he says Abu Ghaith was valuable to al-Qaeda as a communicator. There are videotapes of him promising the storm of airplanes will not abate but that he had no operational knowledge of the terrorist group's attack plans. Warren Levinson, New York. Former officials who have investigated the CIA in the past want the agency investigated again. Correspondent Carlotta Brantley has the details. The chief counsel and former staffers of a 1975 Senate committee that investigated CIA abuses are asking Congress and President Obama to form a special panel to investigate missteps by the country's spy agencies. In a letter to Congress, the president and the public, they urge Congress to examine the operations of the CIA and National Security Agency and their impact on civil liberties. They also question the effectiveness of recent intelligence reviews by the Obama administration and Senate. Carlotta Bradley, Washington. It was all about the green, but the voices of gay protests grew louder at this year's St. Patrick's Day Parade in New York. Irish lesbians and gays have been protesting their exclusion from New York's St. Patrick's Day Parade for decades. This year they are energized by the refusal of the new mayor, Bill de Blasio, to take part and the withdrawal of a couple of beer sponsors. Protester Brendan Fay says we live in a new moment. Pope Francis has opened his arms to LGBT persons. I think it's time the Fifth Avenue Parade open up the doors. The parade had fewer spectators than usual, but that could just as easily have been a function of the sub-freezing weather. Warren Levinson, New York. And that's the news for Radio VR in Washington. I'm Kate Zickel. And I'm Rick Young. You're listening to Radio VR in Washington on 1390 AM. Top stories and interviews you won't hear anywhere else. Radio VR in Washington. More than just headlines. Sea anemones are the most disgusting of all tidal creatures. Their thick tentacle arms are engorged with the collected urine that makes up much of tide pools. Whale urine, fish urine, otter urine, crab urine, all sucked up by the moon and deposited in these natural outhouses. Clownfish share a symbiotic relationship with sea anemones. The clownfish cleans the sea anemone. In exchange, the anemone sprays urine on the face of the clownfish. It's one fetishistic delight. Contrary to popular belief, sea urchins are not in fact animals. Indeed, they are not alive at all. They are simply the clumped together leavings of the ocean's denizens. This is the Onion News Network.
Free Talk Live. Take control. Toll free here, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Still to come here tonight. Detroit looking at raising their parking rates. They're actually That'll lo- fix the problem. They're losing. Mark is now joining us. Welcome, sir. You were out at your uh, fireman's meeting tonight. So. Yeah. Joining us a little bit late. Uh, Detroit, yeah, that's a mess there. They're actually paying $32 to issue and process a $30 parking violation. So (laughs) (laughs) we'll get into more of the details on uh, that mess of a situation. But first, we go to Tommy. He is calling from Glasgow. Tommy, you're on Free Talk Live. (laughs) You may take your freedom, but you'll never take your free talk live. God bless you, lads. How are you doing? Welcome, Tommy. Go ahead with your thoughts. Yes. Uh, well, I'd like to talk on a few things, if possible. Uh, starting on Crimea and Russia. Uh, you know, I, what's happening in the world, you know, we, you look at the conflict in Syria, the, the ongoing violence all over the place, really. But this one is really stirring up a hornet's nest. If, if you analyse the situation... I don't know how worried or frightened you are over there, or, you know, but when when the, the state of Russia uh, helps a, a nation within a few weeks get independence and allows it to ally itself with that, then, you know, there's hope for Scotland. Scotland has been trying to get independence for years. We've been waiting for this a, a referendum, and it's going to happen exactly six months' time. But, uh, yeah, I've actually got a news about, story about that tonight. You guys are going to be voting on independence for Scotland. Very it looks exciting. like it's going to be, it, it's looking like the no's are, are beating the yeses at this point in the polls. Well, that doesn't mean anything. It I mean, means something. It's just it, a poll. Well, th- there's a lot of scare tactics of going on. Well, t- Tommy, what yeah, do you think? It, yeah, there's a lot of scare tactics, a lot of fear made by the people who want to keep Scotland part of the union. But what you'll find is that Scotland for 300 years has been conned into an alliance with England. And ever since the advent or the finding of oil, most of the wealth of the UK for the last 30, 40 years has disappeared down to London when if you analyse the same oil which is extracted from the same sea, if you look at Norway, what they managed to do with their oil... All the people there have almost free gas and electric, and they have a sovereign wealth fund that is the second largest in the planet to the tune of 100,000 each. But Scotland, with a nation of just 5 million, 5.5 million, is burdened with a neighbour with the size of England, about 50-odd million. And most of this cash cow revenue has basically been stolen from the Scottish coffers. And a lot of the fear tactics that have been given by the campaign called Better Together. And that's all they can be described as utter fear tactics to put in the minds of people like saying, oh, if you vote yes, then we'll lose jobs. If you vote yes, you won't be able to have the sterling currency. As if having a currency that's as bankrupt as sterling is one worth having. (laughs) As if being tied to England, a nation is run by Tory fascists from Eton, billionaires who are not only uh, billionaires, but they're sexual deviants. One of the higher echelons of the Tory government who's been there for 40 years has gone through uh, a police investigation for paedophilia. There's another Tory MP who's gone through the courts just now for sexual uh, un- unwanted sexual liaisons with young adults. Tommy, so uh, the, the question whole- for you. Uh, now, this vote that's coming up in September... Is it only people in Scotland who will be voting on their independence? Yes. You have and, to be what, over it, what are the responses? I mean, you're saying they're trying this fear mongering, saying people are going to lose jobs, and there's you know this economic fear mongering going on. Well, they're going to lose the the pound sterling, which makes perfectly good sense. It's not Scotland's yeah. uh, money; it's England's mm-hmm. money, um, and so that makes sense. And then they're likely to it, there's going to at least be a period of years, maybe half a decade, before they could enter into the EU, and likely Great Britain would make it very difficult. For, or excuse me, um, England, you know, because it's really not Great Britain. England would make it very difficult for Scotland to get into the EU because they'd be, you know, well, she left me, so I hate her now. You know, that whole uh, scorned husband thing. Yeah, okay, Uh, but, but, I mean, is this actually working on people? I mean, Mark's saying that the polls aren't showing support for this secession. What are you seeing in the streets? What are people saying to you? I know you're a cab driver for uh, for a living, so what are you hearing with Uh, your ear to the ground? 
Ah, well, no more. See, what happened? I managed to get a Rangers football player sacked, and then I had to give up my taxi job because I've been living on death threats. So for the last year, I'm no longer a cabbie now. I'm just a full-time radio presenter. So I had to give up that cabbie and stuff. But what I have been doing, I've been running my own polling campaign where I've been phoning people and trying to find out the, the pulse of the nation. And there's a lot of people out there who have been influenced by these fear tactics. And just what the good person who was talking there, so I don't know who it was, was that Mark that was talking? Yeah, that was but what he was saying there, yeah, what, what he was saying there regarding... Uh, you know, the economy with the UK uh, and, and Scotland being tied together the way it has been, it's been so disadvantaged. Uh, uh, and, and what you'll find that if England was to say, oh, well, we're going to do this or we're going to do that, well, all, it'll be like cutting its nose off despite itself. So for whatever... Uh, damage you want to do to Scotland, the repercussions will be felt 10 times to themselves. So you'll find that they won't be able to say, oh, we don't want you in Sterling because the amount of trade that goes between Scotland and England and the crossover, they will be forced, like the Scottish counterparts, the politicians, to have a compromise. And British MPs have had a coalition government and so they've been had to compromise. So they'll stand their grandstand and shout in the odds but if Scotland says we want yes, then all politicians will have to get around the table and it'll take a while and it might take five, ten years and maybe Scotland will pull out the pound. It might take five, ten years, like you say, it might take a decade or more for Scotland to go into the EU and fully and develop its own currency. But if you look, there's cryptocurrencies out there. We can have our, our own currency called... Right, I mean, there's the plenty of countries in the world that schedule. use the dollar. I mean, so it's not like yeah, right. there aren't other options or, out or there. The, or the euro or the pound or whatever. It's just let's shop keepers figure this out on their own they can do it they can't stop the, the the england or the british can't stop people from using the pound sterling they can only stop scotland as calling it legal tender well uh, first of all yeah. I, I think this is fascinating that this is actually finally coming up because this has been a long time bone of contention and, and finally people are going to be able to vote on this what's the, what are the poll numbers looking like at this point we are six months out so there's still yeah, plenty of time coming together well, it started off about 62% for no, about 38 for for the yes. It's closed down. It should be 42 for for the no, uh, and it's about 58 for the sorry for the for the for the yes. It's 50. Sorry, for the yes, it's 42, and for the no, it's 58. So you're so seeing things move right. in the right direction. More people are being <laughs> persuaded on this. And, and again, six months out, you got plenty of time. I hope that you'll give us updates maybe as we get closer, Tommy. And I appreciate your call and thoughts I'm tonight, here. as I'll always, on Free Talk Live at 855 855- 450 free. I actually had that story in uh, show prep for tonight, so let me jump into it here from the Telegraph over in the UK. The 2015 general election will be thrown into turmoil, they say, if Scotland votes for independence in September's referendum, according to government legal advice. So this is some more of that fear-mongering that, uh, that we're talking about. An election is scheduled to be held on May 7th of next year in, uh, the, in the UK, but by then, Scotland could already be preparing to separate from the rest of the United Kingdom. The leading lawyer who wrote the Westminster government's legal advice on Scottish independence is now warning that a yes vote in the rec- uh, referendum would have major ramifications for the election and could destabilize the next British government. Seems like more of a reason to vote yes. Well, it, the, the destabilization, if what Tommy says is true about uh, oil off Scotland, I haven't heard this part of the uh, the equation at all, and I'm sure that's why. I mean, you know, media tend to be centralized. Um, so, yeah, if, if basically the cash cow of uh, the UK has uh, left its pasture, then... That's gonna. That is gonna be destabilizing. Cabinet ministers fear that if Alex Salmond's Im- independence campaign succeeds, the general election could be engraved out, plunging Britain into an unprecedented constitutional crisis. As though they weren't already in a constitutional crisis. It's pretty bad over there, as far as the police state is concerned. In Britain, we'll continue with more about the the drive for Scottish independence. A vote coming up in about six months. We'll share more uh, on that story, and you can bring up whatever's on your mind. Plus, Detroit parking uh, fines and rates to increase. More on the way. This is Free Talk Live. 
I want to share something important that will not only improve your life, but the lives of many others as well. And all you need to do is drink coffee. I'm not talking about harmful store-bought or chain coffee. No, this is truly the best of the best coffee. We've partnered with Kamano Island Coffee Roasters to offer BuzzBox. With every purchase, 10% goes towards our efforts to give the gift of human freedom by providing at least 100 microfinance loans via World Vision. So literally, just one cup at a time, you're having an impact in helping make a difference in the world. And one sip will have you buzzing to family and friends. To prove just how good it is, we're giving a free pound of coffee to everyone in the audience. All you do is cover shipping. Go to coffee.freetalklive.com. Buzzbox Coffee is organic, so it contains no pesticides or toxins. It's shade grown, so less acidity and no heartburn. It's top 1% Arabica grade and gives people the opportunity to own their own coffee farms. Join us in making a huge impact at coffee.freetalklive.com. Making the right decisions is a challenge to investors. Are we going to see economic growth slide into a recession or at worst depression? Hi, Ted Anderson from Midas Resources. We all know when a company acts irresponsibly, divesting ourselves in a move towards safety is prudent. When the market becomes volatile, U.S. Treasuries are a safe haven. But what do you do when the U.S. government over extends itself and spends beyond its means. Many investors are turning toward gold as a common sense alternative to traditional paper investments. Midas Resources has put together a powerful book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, discussing costs, benefits, risks, featuring full color illustrations, weights, and measures. The book is free and can be yours by calling 800-686-2237. Paper investments are dwarfed by gold's 6,000 year history. Discover how gold may be right for you and your IRA by calling 800 800- 800-686-2237. Whether buying or it's time for you to sell, the book is free. Call 800-686-2237. Free Talk Live. We need to legalize the animal trade. The illegal (laughs) bird trade causes the death of hundreds of thousands of birds. Do you know why that hundreds of thousands of birds are dying? Why don't you tell me? The reason these birds are dying is because it's illegal. They have to pack in multiple birds into whatever it is that they're transporting them in. One would think. When they get across the border and they open up the package, you can damn well bet some of those birds have expired. Yes. So there's a certain percentage rate that just don't make it through. And that's where this number comes from. This hundreds of thousands of uh, birds dying every year because of the illegal bird trade. Now, if it wasn't for the people demanding them, obviously nobody would be bringing them in. So there's people in this country that are demanding birds just like people are demanding cocaine in this country. So the idea that we can stop the bird trade is just as asinine that we can stop the war on drugs. We have a war on birds in this country. They just don't talk about it. (laughs) Free Talk Live, seven nights a week from 7 to 10 Eastern, live on the Liberty Radio Network at lrn.fm. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. How many lawyers does it take to change a light bulb? None. They'd rather keep their clients in the dark. There are too many lawyer jokes to count. However, there are some lawyers with more noble intentions. At the Institute for Justice, we bring the light to our clients. We are a nonprofit public interest law firm with clear values and principles. At IJ, we fight for those whose most basic rights are denied by the government. Visit our website today at ij.org. You can interact with other LRN listeners in our message board at forum.lrn.fm. That's forum.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live. Bring up anything toll-free at 855-453. That's 855-450-3733. And we've got Skype. You can Skype into the show at username lrn.fm. No Skype calls tonight. I've been busier on the phones. If you've got Skype, you should you should take the time to send a contact request to Free Talk Live. If you've got a smartphone, you can actually install a Skype app on your smartphone and upgrade 
your voice quality when you call Free Talk Live. If you upgrade your voice quality, it's easier to understand you when you call on uh, on the phones, especially if you've got a thick accent. Although I have to say, I was able to understand most of what Tommy was saying from yeah, I, Scotland. I felt you know, he was easier to understand than he has been in the past. Yeah, that's true. Um, so, and th- though there was one time when he actually called us on Skype, and it was really c- uh, clear, and he was a lot easier to understand. So it goes a long way. Take a little bit of effort to get Skype installed. I know it's a Microsoft product, NSA, etc. Don't talk about anything, crit- you know, secret <laughs> over Skype. But for calling a radio show where you're going to be heard anyway, certainly there's no harm in using it. Uh, so again, our username on Skype is lrn.fm. Now imagine. Being able to spend your Bitcoins with a credit card through a completely decentralized, non-bank system. You swipe and Bitcoin is removed from your wallet. It makes Bitcoin as easy to use as money in our meat space world. The technology would be pretty awesome, right? And if you think that it might be worth investing in, you'd like to look into it a little bit further, go and check out their Indiegogo campaign at mybtc.cc. I got one of their credit cards uh, while we were at the uh, Texas Bitcoin Conference. I picked up one of the mybtc.cc credit cards. I actually have the first one. No way, really? I got the first one. Temper, of course, is the uh, the brilliant uh, man behind this project, but uh, you know, he needs some help, and you can help him out over at mybtc.cc. Become an investor in this project, uh, mybtc.cc. I think it's a neat idea. And uh, It's not like the money won't, that, that the pr- project won't get off the ground without money, because the fact is, it already is off the ground. Mm-hmm. It's really about adoption, and people... Uh, you know, integrating. Currently, I can use this credit card at any store that takes, um, you know, that that has their software integrated into its swipe machine. But somebody has to integrate that software into a swipe machine, and that's why we sort of need people. It's it, you're sort of investing time and money into the into the setup. So mybtc.cc to learn more about that, and don't forget you can go and grab archives of Free Talk Live that go back for years at freetalklive.com. You click, you download, they're free freetalklive.com. Oh, and speaking of archives, we've got video archives now. You have to go to our YouTube channel to get them. Go to youtube.freetalklive.com and we are now archiving the video version of the show. It takes longer for those to appear online, so you're not going to get that an hour after the show's done. It's going to be several hours because YouTube has to process through a three-hour block of video. So that takes several hours. So usually, like, by the next morning, the video file will be available for you. So, even more archives for you to spend time with over at freetalklive.com. We've been talking about the Scottish election, uh, or I guess independence uh, referendum that is coming up here at the end of uh, this year, the summer summertime September, I believe is when it is. So we got about six months out. According to Tommy, who called from Glasgow a moment ago, the polls are looking like more people are coming on board. So while on one hand it's a minority that is uh, willing to vote for Scottish independence, the minority appears to be growing, and yep. I think that's well, a positive thing. If what Tommy says is true, and I have not done the research on this, I am only I'm taking his word for it because he what, lives there. Yeah, what he says, and he, you know, he's he's informed on the topic, is that there's a lot of oil off the coast of Scotland, and that that basically that money is being taken out and sent to London. Um, if Scotland can keep it and it goes to Glasgow um, instead of to um, to London, mm-hmm. then that is going to be net positive for most. Most of the people in Scotland. Now, if they lose their EU status, and they will if they separate from Great Britain, that is going to be not so great for anybody who does sort of import-export businesses, right? Because now there's going to be more more difficulty moving things in and out of the country. Mm-hmm. Um, you're no longer part of this sort of uh, you know larger governmental body. I think that if Scotland turns out to be a relatively wealthy nation that keeps relatively solvent that the EU would happily take them in and, and bilk them of as much money as they possibly can in the process. After all, that's what they're doing to any of these solvent nations. Um, I'm not even sure that this is the worst thing for Scotland not to get let in, but I think that the whole you won't have the pound sterling argument is pretty specious because people will be able to use the pound sterling or the euro or gold and silver or bitcoins or the U.S. dollar or whatever they want, and shopkeepers can figure that out on their own. Um, well, most of this stuff's going to get figured out. I mean, yes, there are going to be bumps in the road anytime you have secession. Things are going to change. Change can be difficult to deal with for humans. 
and it, you know it's going to be bumpy. There are going to be some ups, there's going to be some downs, and overall I think that it's a good thing to have more political designations rather than fewer. I hope this works out. But the scare tactics continue. Uh, obviously, the people in the uh, the people in the uh, London side of things are going to want to try to scare people in Scotland as much as possible into not voting for secession. But let me continue with a story from the Telegraph. They say there will be a constitutional crisis in Britain if Scotland votes for secession. In a memorandum for the House of Lords, Professor Alan Boyle, a specialist in international law at Edinburgh University, outlined two options for the election if Scotland chooses independence on September 18th. Emergency laws could be passed months before the election to ban the 59 Scottish constituencies from taking part and hold polls only in England, Wales, and Northern Ireland next May, he said. Alternatively, the election could proceed as planned. Now, again, they're talking about the 2015 election here in Which Scotland the shouldn't UK. be a part of if they secede, right? Correct. I mean, why in the world? I mean, that's that is, that's not a terrible banning them. I, you know, why would they be involved if Scotland know. had voted to, to secede from the UK, then they should secede from the UK. Alternatively, the election could proceed as planned across the UK, but all Scottish MPs would then be ejected from the Commons on the day that Scotland becomes an independent country, which come as, could come as soon as March 2016, only 10 months after the election. So I guess what they're saying here is uh, that even if Scotland votes for independence in September of this year, that the gears will take a while to turn on that and... In the next election in the UK in early 2015, Scotland will still be kind of in to some extent, and so I guess there's some question about how that will be dealt with. Yeah, big fat hairy deal. A decision to exclude Scotland from the 2015 election would force the political parties to tear up their battle plans, rewrite their manifesto proposals, and reshuffle their ministerial teams midway through the campaign. Yeah, God knows they're not working on principle, working from mm-hmm. uh, gui- guiding by their heart's true song. They're... Well, they stick their finger in the wind, yeah. and they say, oh, my God, well, the Scots have gotten out of this. Uh, well, Let's change our message. You, things are going to have to change a little bit. I mean, these disgusting snakes, they're the same everywhere. <laughs> the impact would be particularly <laughs> severe on the Labour Party, which has significantly more MPs from Scotland than the other parties, including the shadow foreign secretary and election coordinator, Douglas Alexander. But if the election goes ahead and the MPs for Scottish seats then leave the Commons in 2016, it could decisively shift the balance of power and bring down the new government less than a year after it has been elected in a written submission to the house of lords on the implications of independence professor boyle said the scottish mps would be legal and legally entitled to remain in westminster after the 2015 general election until the date of independence so i guess the concern is the scottish mps will be wreaking havoc in there for you know 10 months or uh, however long it is before they actually withdraw and you know what to do about that here. 850, uh, 855 450 free. That is the Pro XPN toll free line. Coming up, Detroit parking nightmare. It's Free Talk Live. Do you owe the IRS money that you can't pay? Are tax liens and levies ruining your life? Are you tired of being afraid just to go to the mailbox? If this describes you, then Dan Pilla can help. Hi, I'm Dan Pill, and I've been solving tax problems for more than 30 years. In fact, I wrote the book that made it possible to negotiate settlements with the IRS, and I've helped thousands of people do exactly that. Call now at 800-346-6829 to learn how I can help you. You know your IRS debt will not go away by itself, but you don't have to live in fear anymore. New changes to IRS policies will help more people than ever before eliminate their debts once and for all. There's no need for you to suffer another day with IRS debt. Call 800-346-6829. I can help you eliminate wage and bank levies, release tax liens, and negotiate a settlement with the IRS that will put your tax nightmare behind you forever. Call 800-34-NO-TAX or go to my website, taxhelponline.com. That's taxhelponline.com. Uh, excuse me, is this where I get a license to start a new business? I wouldn't be hasty. You have to get a license to go out of business, too, you know. Oh, well, look, I've invented this little anti-gravity machine, see? Oh, is that why you're walking two inches above the floor? <laughs> oh, yes, it's it's very comfortable. It saves on shoe leather. Yeah, well, you have to fill out these forms and report to the Human Services Department of Manpower Orientation and register with the Fair Employment Practice Commission, just the Wage wanna... and Hour Division of the Employment Standards Administration, the State Sales and Income Tax Division, the Internal Revenue Service, look, and the I Social Security Administration li- of the Department of Health, Education, and Welfare. And, of course, 
Osha. Osha? I thought that was a little town in Wisconsin. You'll find out. Say, floating around like that could be dangerous. Have you checked with the Consumer Product Safety Commission? Well, not yet. You Come see, to think per- of it, you actually are flying, aren't you? Look, you need to go over to the Federal Aviation Administration and the Transportation... It's very hard to get anything done these days if you're in business, but Free Enterprise built this country. Think what could happen if we don't keep it free. A public service of this station and the Center for the Defense of Free Enterprise, Bellevue, Washington. We just can't have people floating about unregulated, you know. This is Mark of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the economic engine that powers our country. With a printing press tethered to Washington bureaucrats and New York central bankers, how can we trust paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, or go to gold.freetalklive.com. Again, 877-357-9938. 877-357-9938. Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. Calling all makeup lovers. Bare Minerals Foundation just won its ninth Glammy Award for Best Prestige Foundation. And to celebrate, we're offering risk-free trials to all women nationwide. That's right. Every woman who calls right now can get a full-size risk-free trial of our number one selling foundation. Plus, a free five-piece makeup set. For yours, call 1-800-961-4764. This is an exclusive radio-only offer you don't want to miss. Bare Minerals Foundation gives you flawlessly beautiful coverage with a no-makeup feel. And it's clinically proven to promote clearer, healthier-looking skin for all skin types. No wonder it's won nine Glammys in a row. And now you can try it for yourself. Call now to find out how you can participate in our nationwide risk-free trial and join the millions who've already tried Bare Minerals Foundation and fallen in love with their skin again. Plus, we'll send you a free five-piece makeup set, our gift to you. Hurry, don't miss this exclusive radio-only offer. 1-800-961-4764. 1-800-961-4764. If you enjoy LRN.FM, please contribute to your favorite shows via their websites and become an amplifier at amp.lrn.fm. That's amp.lrn.fm. We talk live. You can take control of the airwaves. Just dial in toll free at 855-453. That is the Pro XPN toll free line. 855-450-3733. We've got Skype as well. You may Skype into the show at username LRN.FM, so feel free to reach out to us that way. We've got news updates. You get signed up, and we'll keep you in the loop whenever there's something you need to know about Free Talk Live. Go to news.freetalklive.com to follow along. Uh, via email, you'll get the most important updates via the uh, your email box. In fact, you'll get our new weekly digest emails that are being put together on a weekly basis, and uh, they're very, very good. They actually summarize the most popular stories from the front page of our website, what has been voted upon by listeners like you, and also some of the uh, the topics discussed on the show. They give you a link to the weekly digest audio that uh, Benjamin Bartholomew is putting together on a weekly basis, which compresses 21 hours of free talk live down into about an hour and a half's worth of, or an hour and 15 minutes worth of uh, content. For those of you who are time challenged and can't listen to every episode of free talk live, you can good now, stuff. Yeah, you can now get it uh, very, very summarized uh, and you can get it in your email box now if you are on our news list so go to news.freetalklive.com get signed up for that uh, that again news.freetalklive.com there are also links there to our facebook google plus and twitter where, where you will get even more uh, you get updates during the show pictures and comments and things like that so news.freetalklive.com the free state project it is your best chance at achieving liberty in your lifetime if you're serious about freedom and you want to be with other people who actually care about it and who are willing to do something, then you really need to go to freestateproject.org and learn more about this amazing movement of people who are really dedicated to the ideas of liberty and are willing to get out there and get active. It's working. This is not an idea. This is a proof of concept. It's happening now. The reason why the three of us are in the studio together tonight is because of the Free State Project. It's an idea of moving 20,000 liberty-minded people like us, perhaps like you, all to the same geographic area, a small 
place, a place with a low population. That's one of the reasons why New Hampshire was chosen. But other reasons include, well, there's a, there are over 101 of them, as a matter of fact. You can go and get the 101 reasons to move to New Hampshire over at freestateproject.org. But you know, there's no state income tax here. There's no state sales tax. There's an incredibly accessible political system compared to a lot of places. You can actually call state re- representatives at their house here. Uh, state reps don't have offices. They have a locker at the state house. Free staters have moved, and within three years, they're elected as a state representative serving. Is that correct? That has happened. Yeah, absolutely true. Uh, so, and, and a number of them are going to be running this year in the 2014 elections. So, go and check out freestateproject.org. If you love liberty, if you understand what freedom means, and you want to join together with an amazing community of people that's always growing. We've got over 1,500 people here now as part of the Free State Project. We've got over 15,000 people who have signed on, who have pledged to make the move once we reach 20,000. So we haven't even begun the official move period yet for the Free State Project. That's a a five-year window that will happen after we reach 20,000 people who are willing to come here. So be one of those 20,000. Help us get to that number sooner rather than later at freestateproject.org. As we continue here, of course, we'll take your calls about anything. Go to Skype where Nathan's on the line in Texas. Nathan, go ahead with your thoughts. Evening, everyone. Hey there. Uh, I had a topic that was related to my last call, and this is uh, kind of for Mark. Have you heard of a trial by combat and yeah. its use in the Middle Ages? Sure. Um, the idea is is that uh, um, you know, depending on which culture and how it was employed, but essentially, if uh, if you were guilty of something, you fought the the person who accused you, and whoever won was right. Yeah, and it's a, it's an interesting uh, apparently because it's not actually universal the trial by ordeal where you would have to go through some nasty procedure like walking on hot coals is in many cultures, but this trial by combat seems to be specific to Europe and uh, Germanic tribal culture. I'm kind of fact. surprised at that. I mean, that's so inculcated in our society. I mean, that the idea that hey, you know, the strongest one wins. The strongest one's right. Yeah, definitely. And one of the, uh, it's interesting, a lot of people think that this is a kind of barbaric thing. I wanted to kind of uh, play devil's advocate and point out some advantages of this approach. For example, you better be uh, good, (laughs) because it sounds barbaric to me. Well, and uh, you can also, well, the first advantage is that you'll get to see one on the new season of Game of Thrones coming out. It will be a dramatized trial by combat. And it will illustrate one of my first point, which is that nobles can use this procedure to bargain for a better sentence if they feel that for some reason they're being treated unfairly. Yeah, and nobles, um, people really don't kind of get this, is but everybody else was working to survive, so they didn't have time to fiddle around with pointy pieces of metal and see who was better at doing it. Nobles, on the other hand, this is what they did. This was their job, essentially. They were the warrior class, so... They're significantly better with pointy metal objects. And that leads into my second point, which, again, you're going to see on this season's Game of Thrones uh, premiere, which is that apparently hiring people to fight for you was happened sometimes and didn't happen other times. But if you think about it, that would be a more fair way to do it because then it doesn't come down to a simple contest of physical strength. People can compete for the option to fight on your behalf and uh, if, you know, your claim is stronger and the gods are, I forgot to mention that this, the whole thing is predicated on God deciding the outcome. Yeah. People in the Middle Ages thought that God Couldn't was they just pretty roll much- dice? I mean, <laughs> you know, if, God, if God's going to pick the winner, let's just flip a coin. Well, there's no spectacle involved in that. Right. It's, yeah, that this sounds well, that's, like a terrible idea to decide <laughs> It's a uh, terrible conflicts. idea. <laughs> but it makes for very good drama. Indeed. So. Sure it would. Sure it would. Nathan, what, is that all you were calling about tonight? Well, I thought I'd give you a Skype call, and once again, I wanted to praise that Hardcore History cast. Thanks so much, Mark, for uh, turning me on to that. Was this the uh, Thor's Angels one that you're talking in particular, or just the podcast of uh, Hardcore History in general? Uh, well, st- I'm still on Thor's Angels, but he brought up trial by combat in passing, and so uh, I thought I'd do a little research into that. Thanks for your call tonight, Nathan. Appreciate hearing from you. That actually brings me around to a, something you'd wanted to talk about earlier, Johnny Ray. I made a note, but I, we never got around to it. We had a lot of things to discuss. Uh, we were talking about some of the legal theories earlier tonight, and the 
Game of Thrones reference re- reminded me about this. Right. Uh, you've been playing uh, Crusader Kings. Right. Crusader Kings 2, two. by Paradox. And uh, you've talked about this on Johnny Ray's Game of the Week uh, here and there. And uh, we had some, Mark, for, just to bring you up to speed and all, all of our other listeners, there was somebody who called in earlier, you know, with kind of the legal theories about, oh, well, you know, if you. Uh, go into court, you should do this and this and this. And you know, so we kind of discussed those ideas. And you said you had some sort of related right. comment? Yeah, it reminded me of uh, of Crusader Kings 2. Crusader Kings 2 takes place on a, on a giant map of Europe and the Middle East. And there's about, it's divided into approximately 1,000 counties that you can control. You asked me when I did the game of the week about it, what is the the purpose of the game? Mm-hmm. And really it's a sandbox style game. So you can you There's can, no goal? Right. There okay. there the the I guess the most common goal you could ever sort of suggest someone might want to do is control the whole map you okay. know start the game as a as a lowly count and then grow your domain Do counts run counties yes counts run counties i hmm. didn't know that that's something i wow. learned from god why King's don't i know that <laughs> i mean that's the most obvious thing in the world it's glaringly obvious there you go you learn something new every night here on free talk live even if you're here for an hour now the game is all the the game is all about your dynasty and you're in control of your dynasty so your characters will live and die and live and die and then depending on the rules of succession in your domain they're they're going to be succeeded by maybe your son maybe in a seniority succession it'll be the oldest member of your dynasty so some guy that you'd never even heard of just kind of he just happens to be the oldest guy who has the same last name as you and and when you die this guy comes in and maybe brings some some territory of his own but you can't simply raise an army and march over into the next county and siege the castle and take it and you own it. You can't do that. If you if you raised uh, an army and you have no casus belli, no reason, no cause for war, mm-hmm. uh, no claim on the county, no legal claim, your family has no claim on it, you go over there, nothing's going to happen. But... When you don't have that claim through your family, you can send your top lawyer over there to fabricate a claim, and he just goes in and forges documents and does this and that, and then bang, you've got a claim on the county, and you can go in. Sounds like legal, uh, the legal land to me. 855 450 free. Magic words on pieces of paper are the excuse to do any amount of violence in the state. Uh, there's more on the way. You take control here. Coming up, free talk live. The following is an important free offer for smokers only. The makers of Victor, the world's most advanced e-cigarette, have just authorized the release of free starter kits to all smokers who call in the next 10 minutes. Valued at $99, these Victor starter kits are available for free, but only while supplies last. To guarantee your free kit, call in the next 10 minutes, 1-800-564-6941. The revolutionary Victor design creates only water vapor. There is no foul-smelling smoke and no unhealthy tar. This allows individuals to enjoy the nicotine they love without restriction, no matter where they are. The financial advantages over cigarettes are considerable as well. It is estimated that the average smoker can save hundreds of dollars a month with Victor. Again, free Victor starter kits are now available to any smoker who calls in the next 10 minutes. This is a radio-only offer not available in stores, so call now for your free kit. 1-800-564-6941. 1-800-564-6941. Self-reliance. Survival supplies. Survival skills. National experts. Get it all at the only free-to-attend national event exclusively for preppers. This spring in Tulsa, it's the National Preppers and Survivalist Expo. A must-be-there event. Presented by American Living. This massive expo will include special guests. David Mays from Nat Geo's Doom Day Preppers. Plus, GCN Zone Dr. Joel Wallach via live video conference. Hear Dr. Bones, Nurse Amy, and members of the American Prepper Network, along with many other leading national experts. Learn life-saving tips, CPR, how to handle crisis situations, walk through a bomb shelter, and much, much more. Two big days, April 5th and 6th at the Tulsa Expo Square in Tulsa, Oklahoma. That's April 5th and 6th. Doors open at 9 a.m. with absolutely free admission. Don't miss the National Preppers and Survivalist Expo, America's largest emergency preparedness event. Get your free tickets now. NPSExpo.com That's NPSExpo.com
Free Press Publications is an independent alternative media and publishing company founded in June 2009 with the mission of ensuring a free press for the freedom movement and is committed to spreading the message of peace, freedom, love, and liberty. FPP also gives new authors an avenue for publishing freedom-oriented material. FPP brings you daily news and commentary at fpp.cc, as well as weekly news in the FPP Freedom Minute and Peace, Love, Liberty Radio at fppradio.com. The monthly newspaper FPP News at news.fpp.cc and books at shop.fpp.cc. Find FPP online at fpp.cc. That's fpp.cc, as in Creative Commons. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. Imagine for a moment a radio program, the most personal of mediums that reaches hundreds of thousands of people on more than 140 radio stations across the U.S. and around the world through the Internet with podcasts and live streams. Imagine the advertising is affordable from $600 to $6,000 a month. Free Talk Live is that program. We will work with you to get clicks, calls, views, or sales. Email me at mark at freetalklive.com. You can put the Liberty Radio Network on the air in your area. Visit broadcast.lrn.fm to learn how. Broadcast.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live, moments remain here. Take control of the airwaves at 855-453. That's 855-450-3733. And we've got Skype. Our Skype username is lrn.fm. Uh, of course, you can join us online and get interactive in a variety of different ways on our site. If you like what we're doing with Free Talk Live, you want to help support the show, get your shopping taken care of. You can do it over at Amazon by going through our links at shop.freetalklive.com. There are links there to Amazon UK, to Amazon Canada, and to Amazon US. You just go in, get your shopping done as you normally would, get the same great Amazon deals that you're used to, the same huge selection, user reviews, everything. It's the same Amazon. You're just entering through our affiliate link, so Free Talk, Lives get, uh, Free Talk Live gets a cut of the sale. Very simple process. Just start shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. If you want to save yourself the extra step, go to shop.freetalklive.com once. Click on the Amazon of your choice. So if you're in the U.S., click the U.S. Amazon and then bookmark the landing page. As soon as you arrive at Amazon, bookmark that page. And then all you have to do is just go back to your bookmark from that point on. Our toll-free number, 855-453. I've been teasing the Detroit parking story. This is from DetroitNews.com. As we continue our coverage of the crumbling city of Detroit, it has been just failing miserably uh, for decades. Hundreds of thousands of people have left. Property values have plummeted. You can buy a house for a dollar uh, in Detroit. There's probably not going to be much in that home in the way of copper or any piping or anything whatsoever. But you can get a, a home for a dollar in Detroit. You uh, have a lot that you can tear down a building off of. Yeah, you can probably get a livable home for $1,000 uh, in Detroit. So it's a fascinating uh, study in economics and what happens when a bunch of people leave and the government becomes more and more overreaching over time. The bad news uh, for people that are still in Detroit is that the government is not stopping. I mean, it doesn't matter to them that there's... They're going to get the money right. they need to get bailed yeah. out on this. I'm sorry to tell you know, anybody who thinks that this is going to descend into some kind of agorist paradise. I There are people who believe that. There's a group of uh, liberty types that are supposedly moving to Detroit. and uh, I think it was supposed to be right around now in 2014. I haven't heard right? anything about them in months. Yeah, it figures. Well, we should look into that and see if there's any updates on that. But the idea was they were going to go into Detroit and uh, start you know, living free or whatever, and hopefully that that would work out somehow. But the thing is, the Detroit bureaucrats are still there. 
the Detroit, Detroit government is still entrenched in the city. Sure, the city's bankrupt, and they've brought in an emergency manager from the state, and that emergency manager, you know, has basically turned it over to the state. And I think that there's a still some sort of court situation there. Honestly, I haven't followed the court goings on in in a few months, so I don't know what the current status is. If the state doesn't bail is. them out, the feds will. Yeah. So what about parking in Detroit? Is the you know, what's the parking bureaucracy up to? The story from uh, DetroitNews.com: For the first time in more than a decade, the city may increase its parking fines and come down harder on repeat offenders who don't pay up. The recommendations, which would bump the current parking fines of $20, $30, and $100 per ticket to a two-tiered structure of $45 and $150, meaning that right now, if you get a ticket in Detroit, uh, it's uh, apparently a $20 ticket, they would be bumped, and then it would go up to $30, and then go up to $100. You know, if you wait and you don't pay, they they jump it up. And so they're talking about a two-tiered structure where the first ticket would be $45, and it would jump up to $150 after a certain period of time. So there wouldn't be a second notice. There wouldn't be a second increase. Uh, they are among the revenue-generating strategies recommended by Detroit's restructuring consultants. The proposed reforms come as emergency manager Kevin Orr awaits analysis of the city's parking assets and contemplates spinning off municipal parking, a department that generally breaks even or fails to bring in enough revenue to cover its expenses. The city is currently paying $32 to issue and process a $30 parking violation. And they have adjusted rates since 2001. On top of that, about half of Detroit's 3,404 parking meters are not operating properly at any given time, says Orr's spokesman. Uh, so uh, if you park somewhere in Detroit, the odds are about 50% that you're going to be parking at a meter that's not operating, which should be to your benefit. At least that's the way it works here in Keene. If you park at a meter that's on the fritz, they can't be expecting you to put money in a broken meter. Why not just ticket you and see whether you go to court? Well, they certainly could do that. And I imagine that's probably a more likely tactic in uh, Detroit. I know that in uh, during the Robin Hood trial that we had here in Keene, where people, including myself, were on trial for saving people from getting parking tickets in downtown Keene, we looked at uh, James Cleveland had managed to get the, a copy of the, uh, the training manual for the parking enforcers. And one of the most important parts of the training manual was when in doubt, ticket. <laughs> so if you're not sure if you should be writing a ticket, go ahead and ticket anyway. Because they know that most people are just going to pay it. That absolutely the case. Yeah. Because it looks so official. It's so so dangerous looking. And it is dangerous. Um, you know, they don't have to be right. If you choose not to pay the ticket, they don't have to be right. They're just going to slap you with that higher fine for not paying. The only way you can dispute it is by taking it to court. Consider that many you know these fines, what's it cost to go to court? You've got to take time off of work, mm -hmm. your gasoline, your parking downtown, uh, you know, the the meal that you're going to eat there instead of someplace else. All this stuff, it can take hours and hours and hours. They make it as difficult and arduous as possible for a reason. They're not stupid. They're smart. You're their surf, and you'll do what you're told. It's another example of the old antiquated system, they say. Uh, this is the spokesman for the... Uh, for the person who is the emergency manager, and processes the city has cre uh, the city that the city has that creates impediments for anyone trying to do their job. Detroit Chief Operating Officer Gary Brown is advocating for the changes, which he says would bring in an additional six million per year and sixty million over the ten-year plan of adjustment that Orr is proposing for the bankrupt city. That's real money, said Brown. If the asset truly is an asset and making money, no one's going to want to do anything with it. Brown said the ticket increases would not unduly burden Detroit residents since 70% of the fines are written to non-resident offenders. The city also expects to offer a one-time amnesty program that's commensurate with any increase. Brown said it's unclear how much is currently owed to the city in unpaid parking fines. Some fines are more than 10 years old, he said, surpassing the statute of limitations and should be written off. Besides the ticket hike, the proposal seeks to prevent motorists with three or more unpaid fines from renewing their driver's licenses. Brown said the actions can be implemented without additional expenditures, staffing, or amendments to state or local laws, but will need city council approval. So they go on here. Uh, the fine structure here is one that continues to build. For people already financially distressed, how much more of a burden will this place on them? This according to one of the at-large city councilors. Another councilwoman noted the city's current rates are below other comparable cities, and an increase would not unfairly burden Detroiters. 
She says the pro proposed increases are just one piece of a comprehensive strategy to increase revenue within the municipal parking department. And shouldn't Detroiters be concerned with the municipal parking department? I mean, after all, we need to have parking enforcement for downtown businesses to operate. <laughs> Isn't it a disaster down there? <laughs> yeah, it's a disaster. Uh, Detroit is a wasteland as far as business is concerned. Plenty of places have shuttered. Operations have closed down. And uh, and that's with all of the parking enforcement that they currently have. And if, as I pointed out earlier in the show and blogged over at Freekeen.com, Laconia, New Hampshire has no parking meters whatsoever. And they have a bustling downtown with plenty of businesses in operation. The one thing, I mean, what we know, what ec economists know is that incentives drive behavior. If parking costs $100 an hour, you're not going to have very many people parking there. Mm -hmm. If parking is free, you're going to have a lot more people parking there, right? Sure. Um, I mean, obviously downtown areas because the government the gov because the government mismanages everything it has control of all government parking is mismanaged and therefore cannot be free unlike almost all civilian parking where you're either allowed to park there or you're not i mean that's essentially how yeah, it goes that's true. so uh, you would think that people would understand businesses downtown would sort of understand that if the government got out of their parking they'd have more customers i know that more than one time I have been intending to go downtown to say, you know, get breakfast or something like that. Couldn't dig around and find any change in the car. Just, I, I don't like change. Yeah. Change annoys me. You couldn't park. It doesn't feel comfortable in my pockets. I don't like it. So sometimes I'll put it in the car. Sometimes yeah, you, I put it in the house. You have to be prepared to go downtown. Right. So then I say to myself, well, I guess I'm not going to eat at my favorite right. breakfast place. Screw it. I'm going to go to my second favorite breakfast place, which has its own parking. Sorry to the guy who who has the restaurant downtown. And Which, you, by the way, uh, Timoleon's Restaurant, best clam chowder in the world. Oh, I haven't had that. Uh, you got to try it. Yeah, so I was just going to repeat what you were saying, Mark. You look for the change, and you, you don't, you're not finding the change, so you just keep driving. Yep. So how many people are the businesses missing out on? Well, no, another example here from this article, uh, and I'm not going to have time to, to share the whole thing with you, so I'm going to post it on our Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. Plus. You can check it out on your own. But they also are comparing their rates to other cities. And here's yet another example of how bigger government in more places encourages bigger government, right? So the people in Detroit, the government bureaucrats are saying, Ah, oh, see, San Francisco, it's a $72 fine. We're among the lowest in the country at $20 fines in Detroit. So look, we can totally raise our rates, and it's, it's legit. It works in San Francisco. Why not jack them up here? Uh, their on-street rates are a buck an hour in Detroit compared to Chicago, $6.50. We'll see you tomorrow at freetalklive.com. The Surgeon General warns teens the cinnamon challenge is not for pussies. Taylor Swift is now dating the Watertown boat, and a middle-aged funeral director buys a flashy red hearse. We pity your pathetic dependence on this for your weekly news, but here we go anyway. This is the Onion Week in Review. A study released this week by the National Institutes of Health confirmed that for the 25th straight year, wolf attacks remain the leading cause of death in the United States. The Human Health Agency's findings confirmed that being viciously killed by a ravenous wolf claimed the lives of over 800 thousand Americans last year alone, with researchers adding that one person in the United States dies every 40 seconds from a violent wolf attack. The mortality rate associated with wolf attacks vastly outstrips the death tolls of cancer, stroke, and chronic respiratory disease. People should know that anyone... Oh, Jesus, no. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Onion News Network. Do you feel like there's nothing you can do about the inexorable growth of government? I did too, before I heard about the Free State Project. The Free State Project is a project to get 20,000 liberty lovers to move to New Hampshire to have liberty in our lifetimes. Early movers for the FSP are getting elected, involved in their communities, and participating in civil disobedience. Call 888-377-2515 now to learn more about the Free State Project. 888-377-2515 or visit freestateproject.org. If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com.
The live edition of Peace News Now is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network, LRN.FM. Radio VR. Good morning and welcome to Radio VR. We're broadcasting live from Washington, D.C. and around the world on voiceofrussia.com slash U.S. I'm Kate Zickel. And I'm Rick Young. Today is Tuesday, March 18th, 2014. Radio VR News. A Navy warship that has been helping search for the missing Malaysian jetliner is dropping out of the hunt. Correspondent Ross Simpson tells us why. The Navy's 7th Fleet has determined that long-range naval aircraft are a more efficient means of looking for the plane or its debris now that the search area has broadened into the southern Indian Ocean. P-3 and P-8 surveillance aircraft remain involved in the search, but the USS Kidd, an Arleigh Burke-class destroyer that has been searching the waters of the Indian Ocean with its helicopters, will return to its normal duties. Ross Simpson, Washington. President Barack Obama is hosting a rare ceremony to present the nation's highest military honor to 24 veterans. National security correspondent Sagar Magani reports on why and who will receive the awards. The two dozen men will receive the Medal of Honor for service in World War II, Korea, and